live to the UK. News, information, entertainment, and the best music from the past 40 years. This is Play 2 UK. Warning, warning. The next three hours requires an open mind. It's Sunday night. It's seven o'clock. And the human zoo is now open. Call 01243 556060. Skype play.radio.uk. Email studio at playradiouk.com. Conference on 0208 123 1088. Watch and listen at nttbs.com. But be warned, this is a live community dedicated to discussing topics and taboos in a frank and open manner. So, if you're easily offended by an open minded mass debate, then this show is not for you. And now, it's not the Tommy Boyd Show with Matt and Stu, only on Play 2 UK. Beware, boring calls will be buzzed off. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello. Just getting some cans. Some cans for Joe. Yes. You haven't got any cans? No. Okay, hang on, before we go any, before we go any further. <laughs> What are you doing? He's doing something down there, Stu. Is he? Yeah. Would anybody like to know what I did last <laughs> weekend? <laughs> Walk around and look like a homo. And to, uh, Walk around and look like a homo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know what I did last weekend? <laughs> That's nice. Do you know what? You need to get down to, to Brighton in those <laughs> My flag's a bit ruined after three days of camping. And Hakey uh, Coverline and Signature, I don't know if you can, uh, if you can see that. There you are, Signature on, on the card, just there. Man, that is cool. Got smudged by some little git trying to nick it when he passed it back. Good job I'm not trying to sell it on eBay, isn't it? It is a good job. Yeah. Hello. We've got a phone call. Hello. Hello? I see normal service has resumed. Certainly has, Aaron. Yep. <laughs> can you stop calling him Aaron? Alan. And me, Alan. Can you stop that? <coughs> it's uh, been going on for far too long now. Um, and it's starting to give me a complex. Hello, on good Skype. Job. I'm trying to sell it on eBay, isn't it? It is a good job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Turn, Turn your media, media player, player down. down. Can you stop that? <coughs> it's been going on for far too long now. It's starting to give me a compliment. Oh, that is nice. There's somebody there not turned their media play down. No, that was part of the song, mate. Was it? No, yeah. it wasn't. We were in no, the there background. There were bits that were part of the song. There were. But then yeah. we were playing in the background as well. We were slightly. Mm. 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 Now, I'm eager to. Oh, hang on a minute. Look, you can't. That's better. You can you can see it all now. Let me see. Were they all dressed like you then? <laughs> no, right. Of it was not. me and my mate Rich. Only only the other fifty thousand gays that were there. <laughs> Oh, very funny. There was me and my mate Rich. Um, he had a white top, um, and we had we had the full lot on with FM tuner headphones on as well, walking around with these big oh. things attached so we could listen to Silverstone Radio. It was very good. There was actually a stand. We took a photo of it. I forgot. We should have brought some in, but um, took a photo of this oh, stand. And all do. it was was a sea of Lewis Hamilton orange Lewis Hamilton hats. This colour, you couldn't see anything, but on Lewis Hamilton hats, thousands of them, as far as you can see. That's scary. It's a great weekend. So yesterday, I booked my trip to the Italian Grand Prix in Monza in September. Oh, nice. Mm. I'm not <laughs> sure you should be wearing that top on the webcams. Why? Uh, it's full of uh, advertising, isn't it? <gasps> you can't he's get fortunately, he's not quite he's back obscured. far enough. He's yeah, obscured. yeah. Obscured. Uh, That's all right. Hey, it's nice. It's bright, isn't it? It is, yeah. I don't know what, I could choose white or orange, I don't know what made me choose I'd this one. I'd say you'd stand out in a crowd, but I suppose in, in a Silverstone Grand Prix you wouldn't. <laughs> really. you'd I'll, stand quite, out in, uh, I'll stand out in Italy where everyone will be wearing Ferrari t-shirts. Yeah. You look like you're going to a rave. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's good. It's good. Oh, uh, it's good to, uh, good to see you enjoy. Mm. Hello on the phone. No, you've got to press the red one, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> one week away and he hasn't got a clue. Oh, like 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to mention? Sorry, I'll put them down to Do you want to mention why that happy birthday was being played? Well, can do, but Stu should probably. You were here, weren't you, a year ago? Yeah, let's go for it. It's exactly one year since talk radio started on Play Radio with the Tommy Boyd and Duncan Barker's test broadcast. Look at that. One year ago. One year ago. All right. And when did it officially start? Fifth of August will be the first, uh, the first actual birthday of the Sunday actual night. actual Sunday night show. Yes. So there we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Excellent news. What did they do on that test broadcast? Can you remember? Uh, they tested things. <laughs> Was that what night was that on? True, actually they did. I listened to it today. Do you want to know the reason why that Skype call was asked up? By the way, why? It's because some clever mother around here keeps putting the Winamp on the computer to play the output from Play, oh. and it was running. So. Oh, uh, I've stopped it now. Paul, yeah, you know who that is. It's Paul, the voice Anthony. Is it? Yes, he likes. To, as soon as he's put his mic down, he put he cues the uh, cues the uh, computer and listens back to himself. Oh, hello on the phone. Should we get a mirror hey, in here? Hello. As well. Hey, dude. There's some dirty game playing on going on here, dude. I saw that shit when Matt was away, dude, and I don't want to get into any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I've no time for that shit, dude. Yes, like that was the most terrible American <laughs> accent I've ever heard. <laughs> Hello on the phone. Hold my holic steady and kick him one at a time. Hold my holic steady and kick him one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Do you want to hold me steady and kick me one at a time? I think that, yeah, that, you're all right. I like that low note that they sing, though. I know it's not a very nice song, but it's a really good note. I keep going, oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, you like that? Mm. You'd probably enjoy the kicking. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Being Scottish in that. Yeah. Um, I, how, I like giving the kicking, yeah. I know you do. How's everyone's week been? Great. Yeah? Yes. What have you been doing, Joe? I've been, I've been at the opera, watching my auntie singing yeah. at Glinderborn, and I dressed in very shiny things. People yeah. looked at me. Wow. wow. They couldn't decide whether I was dressed in something incredibly expensive or incredibly cheap. I think that's what it was. Was it tinfoil? It was slightly unnerved. Tin it was tinfoil, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you were, you, were an op you were an opera night wearing, yeah. wearing something uh, which is probably not what you would usually wear. Yeah, I felt a bit uncomfortable because... Um, you didn't take the label out? Well, no. Oh, right. <laughs> I bought the dress from a, a, a car boot sale in Chichester and then I had this long coat thing. You're supposed to dress in evening wear and look incredibly posh, so I just felt a bit kind of odd rather than being in jeans and t-shirts and things like that. Ah. But I quite liked it and my auntie was very good. She was the best, obviously. Did you pretend you were a millionaire at an opera event? No, no. Does anyone ever do that? Like, when you've got to wear a suit at an event that you know no one really knows who you are and you've, yeah. got, to look, you've got to look posh, do you ever pretend to be something you're not? Always, every single time. Mm. Yeah, it's good Why fun. Why not? It's good fun. It is. Yeah. All women right. women like pilots. Yeah. Yeah, pilots or racing drivers, which I could obviously, you know, pass off as you could, a McLaren you... test driver. Now I've got all the kit on. Obviously. We, well, yeah. you've got a Ford Focus. It's, it's like a all rally, right. it's like a rally car, oh, isn't it? Yeah, well, it is like a rally car. <laughs> the way I drive it anyway is bits falling off it all over the place. <laughs> How's your week, Alan? Aaron? <laughs> How's my, mine was... Uh, to, to be honest, my week You know what, I don't care. I'm just waiting to hear what Stu's got to say. Mine's been dull. Apart from today! Apart from today. Today I was uh, doing some gardening. I borrowed a uh, strimmer off a friend and uh, it was great. Did some edging. Yeah. Cursed my way all the way through it. And I've got an apple tree, right, in my garden. Okay. Not the uh, not the nice eating apple, or not, e not even a decent cooking apple right. that you can make a pie out of. No, crab apples. And these things are all over the lawn and they're a pain and they're a complete waste of time. Nobody wants crab apples, right? But my lawn's covered in them and I can't be arsed picking them up. So when I cut the grass, I just mow straight over the apples. <laughs> right? yeah. And when I've finished, my lawn looks like somebody's been throwing apple pies all over it. <laughs> 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 it's just slices of apple everywhere. Ah, sorry. It'd be good for yeah. your lawn, though. Balls. Hey? It'd be good for your lawn. It will, although all those pips going everywhere. Yeah. In a couple of years' time, there's going to be bleeding apple trees. It's going to look like an orchard. <laughs> <laughs> Be a long time though. Yeah. It take, takes a little bit of time for that to. Yeah, to, uh, you can tell I'm not much. I'm not much of a gardener. No, I ain't got a clue. Me either. I just cook grass, and if it looks nice, I looked at mine it. and then used the excuse that it was a bit wet and couldn't cut it today. <laughs> That's but, my excuse almost every week. We have a man that comes round. I don't know who he is. Just random person comes in and um, <laughs> asks to, <laughs> asks to do our garden. Our garden's that bad. Is he, he asked to trim your lady garden. Uh, no, no, thank you. Oh, come in and have a go. Our pool. garden's so rubbish. It's people actually come in and to offer their <laughs> Hello on the phone. If I can make it there, I'll make it. 
Anywhere it's... Oh, hold on. Are we done that one? Yeah, that, yeah, was, that one was last week, mate. <laughs> oh, bollocks. <laughs> 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 Is he there? No. He's no, gone. No. 01243 50 60 60. 0208 123 Skype us at play.radio.uk and watch and listen to it all at nttbs.com. Just click on the watch link. Stu, how's your week been? Very strange. Yeah? Yes. And makes you realise quite how easy it is that you might die very quickly. Whoa! This week. It's been very morbid. I'm sorry. I came here for a light-hearted entertainment show. So, uh, so... Oh, during the week, the uh, the company that I work for decided they would buy a company lunch for everybody. Wow. Which was quite nice. So, uh, I mean, there's only 20-odd of us work there, right? So, uh, Indian takeout was the meal of choice. Beautiful. It was very nice, yeah. Apart from the new guy, who, funnily enough, is an Indian guy. Uh, he's only been there a week and a half. Yeah. And... Um, he is um, currently on a life support machine, uh, currently uh, on the whole breathing thing and everything like that. No way. In an induced coma because he had uh, a re an allergic reaction to something in the, uh, in the food. No. And within 15 minutes he was uh, on the floor in the chemist just up the road as we went to go and get him something to settle his stomach because thought, we thought he wasn't very well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's been there since uh, Friday, well, Thursday afternoon. What's his name? Oh, I'm not going to give his name out over the air. Well, anything. first name. Uh, it, I was it, just thinking of uh, Shalapa you know. is his name. He's okay. an Indian bloke. Well, we all hope he makes. A yeah, so Indian quite coma. quite strange. You you have one Indian meal for lunch, and next thing you spend four days in an induced coma and uh, on a life support machine. So I've never had that bad. No, no it was pretty touch and go apparently. But uh, yeah, he died in the ambulance a couple of times. Uh, he's had you know, starved of oxygen and all this that and the other. So uh, do they know what he was allergic to? Uh, if they do, they haven't told us yet. But uh, anyway, he's uh, at the moment. We're uh, we're waiting to see what he's okay. He's off the. He's off. I got a message today to say that he was off the off the what do you call it breathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so uh, yeah, so wow, pretty, mate, quite strange, quite a surreal end of the week. So uh, it's not really what you want. No, I ended up running around, uh, running around trying to sort out that with the uh, support of the uh, HR office manager woman thing. So uh, his heart rate's back to normal. He's off the adrenaline now. They're giving him steroids to stop the swelling in his throat. Uh, once happy, they will bring him out of his coma and ah. hopefully off the ventilator. Same as Sarah. You know she's allergic shock. to pineapple. Is she? Right. She had a curry once, mm. and the people that made it had obviously used the utensils to cut pineapple. There's no pineapple in it. Yeah. But a smidgen got into the curry. Yeah. And sh within uh, half an hour of her eating it, mm. she was violently ill. Mm. She came out all blotchy, mm. sore throat, and her, her eyes... Yeah. Bloodshot. Bloodshot. Yeah. Like you wouldn't believe. That's what happened, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so quite surreal. Yeah. On the phone, hello. Anyway. Good evening, Matt. I've got an on-air production meeting to ask you. An on-air production meeting from Alan Caddick. Mm -hmm. Go on, Alan. The film with you, under the success of last week... Yeah. Okay. ...when is it going to be for this week? Because it, I'll give you a clue for this week, it's going to be a turkey. Right. Ten past eight was the time that we said last week. And if you lie to me again, Alan, and tell me you're going out <laughs> at eight o'clock and try and do it, and try and do it five minutes early... Tonight, if you do it five minutes early, then, then that's it. Ten I'm staying in tonight. So, ten past eight. I shall let the forum know to, to build up for eight ten. Good. See you later. All right, cheers, yes, Alan. Buddy. And hello on the phone. Hello. Sunday night movie review <laughs> with Leslie Grooveford <laughs> on Play Radio UK. Hello. Hello. How's it going? All right. Good Not bad. Oh. Not bad, mate. How are you? Yeah, great. I'm sorry to hear about your friend. That can be nasty with, like, allergies and stuff. Yeah, not good, is it? I told him I told him that they should start feeding him green drinks while he's in hospital. <laughs> yes. Well, they need to alkalise his blood. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Buy him a but mini trampoline. Seriously, they do, they do, like, a thing called a York test, where they can test for all allergies to get a blood sample from you. Right. But, but these bastards charge 250 quid per test. Holy cow. Yeah, that's... Well, yeah. Uh, if it prevents you dying or ending up in an induced coma, then I think it's worth it. Yeah, but it's, it's really for people who just uh, have things like irritable bowel and want to find out what it is that's setting it off and stuff like that. Right. There is a cheaper alternative. What's that? Well, <clears throat> don't we've, no, we've been told to get our two daughters tested because this allergy that Sarah's got is only passed on through females. And unfortunately, i got two daughters. So there's a very big likelihood that they've got it. The only way we can test to see whether or not they have got it is to take them both to the hospital actually give them pineapple. I was going to say, feed them pineapple, yeah. And if they're having a, a, a reaction, give them uh, a shot of adrenaline. That's the only way to test them. Actually make them eat pineapple. 
Can and you just sit back and watch? They did that for someone who was allergic to a wasp thing. Yeah. They got them to hospital and got all these wasps to sting them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they used to be like the, you know the charge nurse that does all that. Dress them up like a bear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get this down your job. Yeah, have yeah. some of that. Mm. Yeah, good. Well, I've got some bad news tonight, my friend. Uh oh. What is yeah, it? I've not really had time to do a proper video this week. I've been working flat out. Yeah, you've been seeing your boyfriend, haven't you? Yeah. He passes on his regards anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I've done something, I, I was doing something really short just to have a go at the atheist, so I thought I might as well pile that on you instead. It's only about just under two minutes. That's fine. It, it, it's basically just a monologue, you know, giving some facts to atheists, because personally I think atheists are lazy bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously, they don't want to carry the weight of owning a really powerful belief system. But more than that, the, they came up with this atheism when they were teenagers and thought, fucking hell, this is a great way to get out of Sunday school. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I just think they're lazy because they don't believe anything. Right, okay. I look forward to that, Leslie. Thank you very much. Yeah, oh, you're getting rid of me already, are you? <laughs> well, we're, we've, uh, we've got a couple of things to get through, so please do not be offended. We have a uh, live act in the studio. Right, I was just going to say before I go, Matt. Yeah. Don't feel bad about last week, because you haven't been testing your piss with pH strips of fucking lemon for a few days. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind, you haven't listened to the podcast then, it was evil. No, I, I've caught about an hour in bits. Oh, it was good though, we, we only did it because we love you. Everybody seems to be having a lot of fun, yeah, it seemed good. Yeah. Party time then, when's this barbecue before I go? Now, we were just talking about that. Yeah. Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps the August bank holiday weekend would be good, thinking about it. Mm. Is that end of the month or beginning? That's, that's the end of the month. Oh, I'll be away. Oh, Joe. Mm -hmm. yes. It's all right, Joe. I'll eat you sausage. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. All right, Leslie, thank you very much. Right, we've got to do this because we next door in the studio, we've got some guys who I was doing a quick mix down with earlier, um, who have mastered the art of mouth music. Beatboxing, however you want to call it, you'll have seen it on YouTube with Beardy Man and the group oh, yeah. Naturally Seven. Naturally yeah. Seven have just signed a record deal. They've brought out an album full of beatboxing tunes that they've made, um, and it's really about time that it sort of uh, came into the to the to the fold, so to speak, and got a bit more commercial recognition because it is an art, um, and a lot of a lot of people think it's just an underground thing, and it's just thing that it's not know, as easy as it looks that silly that, that silly kids in kappa tracksuits do on street corners to intimidate old women, but it's not, and it's very 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 hard to do. I've, I've never tried it. seen anyone intimidate an old woman by beatboxing <laughs> at them. I have so I've never seen that before in my life, and I'd like to. Oi, you LAP. Oh my god! He's got a drum in his mouth! He's got a drum in his mouth! Oh dear. I'm going to bring back. my grand down just for that. Excellent. <laughs> Joe, what are they called? They're called Corroboree, I hope. Corroboree? Yes. Corroboree. Hang on a minute, mean. they're wearing hoods. Are they? They've got hoodies. Oh, no, they got into, they got into the, uh, into the <gasps> spirit of things, yeah. Oh, no. So, Corroboree, our live act, our human beatboxeries, will be up next. Women give lots of reasons why they keep smoking when they're pregnant. My mum smoked when she was pregnant and I turned out all right. If I try and stop, I'll stress out and that's worse for the baby. But there are lots more reasons why you should stop. Because every cigarette you smoke damages your unborn baby, reducing the blood flow through the placenta for 15 minutes. That's why the NHS offers free support to pregnant mothers and their partners who want to quit smoking. I've stopped because it's better for the baby. And me. For help and support to go smoke free, call the NHS Pregnancy Smoking Helpline on 0800 169 9169 or visit www.nhs.uk slash go smoke free. The business brain buster on Play T UK is the internet's best general knowledge quiz. Staff from officers around the country pit their wits in a head-to-head -head battle hoping to be crowned Business Brain Buster of the Week. Register your business to take part. Email studio at playradiouk.com now. Then join Paul Anthony weekdays from midday UK time to hear it all live on air. The Business Brain Buster with Paul Anthony only on Play 2 UK. This is not the Tommy Boyd Show with Stu and Matt on Play 2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show may offend. <laughs> yes. 
We we appear to have a bit of a uh, technical uh, technical issue. Oh, Matt's in there. It'll get sorted. Earth to Matt. We could try it. Huh? Will we give it a go? No. <laughs> <laughs> Earth to Matt. Fuck. You broke it. No, no, no. It's all right. Oh, okay. There you go. Are, they, are we working? Are they yeah. Well, it? I can't hear anything. So. Can we not? No. Huh. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Speaking to your mics, guys. Now that is strange. Why isn't that working? Is there a record button down somewhere? Oh, I don't know. Ross, pull the mics up in the studio, mate. Well, this is strange, isn't it? It's good to see the head of production back into the studio <laughs> this evening and that the production output of the show has gone down to the toilet again. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> gone down to the Thank toilet. You. Right, you guys it hasn't on. gone down no toilet. It's just gone to it's the toilet. Just thinking about it. It's coming down the toilet. It's gone down to the toilet. <laughs> just in case. Yeah. It changes its yeah. Mind. Let me, um, yeah, well, anyway, 01243 556060 60 is the phone number if you want to get through. Um... Yes. I'll tell you what, why don't we mention what uh, topics we're going to be chewing out oh, yeah. later. Mm. Topics for later on. Yep. Urban legends. Ooh. Now, I was fooled for many years about the fact that um, Bob Holness yeah. allegedly um, allegedly was the saxophone player on Jerry, uh, Jerry Rafferty's Baker Street. I was most disappointed when it wasn't true. By the way, is this my... No, it's not. No, you need to fade that it's last fader. Right, Chatting to myself. Yeah, there you go. Um, and so, uh, and so, I was quite disappointed to find out when it wasn't. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, one of the, uh, the uh, tonight's topic: urban legends. What have you fallen for? What urban legends do you know? Well, you you fell for another one quite recently, didn't you? Remind me. The mobile phone and the popcorn. The mobile phone and the popcorn one, which ended up being a viral video. Yeah. That's right. It was mm. all fake. Mm. So, those of you at home trying to pop popcorn with your mobile phones, don't bother. It's nonsense. Yeah. Can't be done. Can't be done. So when I was uh, going on about uh, Tetramass and everything, you said, Oh, dangerous stuff! You can pop popcorn with a phone! No, I was right. It was all bollocks. We, uh, still not getting anything. I haven't heard a bean, mate. Now, I don't know what's going on, then. Can we get them in here? I suppose it's not the same. Hey, there they are! Hey! Hey! Right, we... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, when I put my thumbs up, that means we're cool, Ross. So if we can have the guys so they can hear the show. Hello. 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 Hey. Finally. Sweet. Oh, sorry about that. It's all right, mate. How's it going? All right? Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Now, you introduced yourselves to me earlier. I'm crap with names. I think it's, we've got Jason, we've got Simon, and, and Jamie. That's right, mate. Hey. Which one's which? Jason, say hello. Hello there, mate. Jamie. Hello. And Simon. Right. Brilliant. Okay, welcome to Not the Tommy Boyd Show. Thank you. Thank now, you. did Joe get your name right earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of corroboree. Yeah, yeah. Corroboree. Corroboree. How do you spell that? Difficulty. C O double R O B O R R. No, I don't know. We don't know. Well, this is going to bode well for your MySpace sites, now, isn't it? Yeah. C O B O double R O B O R double E. That's the one. Right. I'll stand on you. Excellent. <laughs> Corroboree. 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 I see. This is like that we'll trendy kids up. thing, isn't it, where you change the word around with no, the spelling? No, it's Aborigine, mate. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, that's that's, I'll it's shut up then. Shows what you do. <laughs> <laughs> it means a noisy gathering. Yeah. A noisy gathering? Yeah, which is what we Oh, well, fair. Yeah, noisy gathering. I thought you guys were excellent earlier, actually, when uh, when we had a bit. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to get you to do your first track for us, yeah, and then we'll come back and chat to you some more. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, on Not The Tommy Boy Show, this is Corroboree. <laughs> Stop. 
after eight nights in the lung, I'm a ticket. Where the good black cuckoo robbery blaze in the stuff that I'll trip, trip, trick it. Ticket. Where the good black cuckoo robbery blaze in the stuff that eight nights in the lung, I'm a ticket. Where the good black cuckoo robbery, yes, I'm fighting, dead mo, it's gonna be tricked. Okay, well, let's begin. Many of our students, this is the lesson you've all been waiting for. Lesson that is the lesson that is the lesson that is Play a show, 45 RPM recording, but the turntable's turned down to 33 and a third, and the record plays very slowly. Uh, let's pick up the tempo a little bit. Fantastic. You Stu, are, are you gonna come back in? You wait there? You're alright there, are you? Right, so let, let's let's first of all let's give you all your plugs, what your MySpace, your websites, all that kind of stuff. Cool. Okay, well uh yeah, MySpace MySpace.com slash corroboree. Now do you wanna spell that again for us? Do you wanna spell that, Joe? C O R R O B O R E E. That's the one. Cool. And uh we're also doing um a gig in uh in Chidester at the La Havana Bar uh -huh. on the 13th of August um, and that's to do with I Am Joy Festival the website for that is myspace.com slash I Am Joy Festival uh, so come check that out it's a week long uh, free arts uh, festival excellent so yeah come on so it's the 13th in Chichester yeah that's the yeah, La Havana Bar um, and also there'll be stuff going down at the uh, boys club um, I'm doing a workshop on the Monday about 12 o'clock and uh Jamie and Simon be joining me for that. So get your kids along, get anyone along. Sure, if anyone's in the air, pop along, say hello. That's it, get them down. Through. Mention not the Tommy Boyd show, they'll give you a tenner. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> We've got someone on the phone, hello? I've got some questions for our musical guest. Okay, musical guest, this is Alan Caddick. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Hello, mate. Good evening. Uh, first of all, if you could choose any tune to beatbox, what would it be and why? Crikey. Um, did you understand that? Yeah, yeah, the thing yeah. is, though, we cover, like, a lot of tunes as it is anyway, so, um, like, we always well, do tunes what would be your absolute favourite? Probably signed by Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> and the next question, I want you to answer individually. Jason, who would be your favourite Big Brother housemate of all time? God, here we go again. 
Um, I don't know. I think Big Brother's a bit fascist, so yeah. I'd probably have to say no. Good man. Simon? Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say I'd ever uh, watch Big Brother to say the truth. Jamie, you're my last hope, mate. Mate, it's got to be that Saskia girl from the other one, mate. Had massive Saskia. Tears, mate. Saskia. Oh. Oh. Big Brother Six, Eugene. Who? <laughs> <laughs> was in that no. same Big Brother, Saskia. I just remember Saskia. That's it, mate. With me, it's Kate Lawler. Oh, Lola, no, no, she's Big right. three. Yeah, she's got a restraining order against you, hasn't she, Alan? Sex Who pest. Who is? Who doesn't? Hilarious. Alan, thank you very much for your call. Uh, we've got Stephen Hawking on Skype. Hello. Fuck. Me. I. Am. Loving. That shit. It's Mo Boy, isn't it? <laughs> Mo DMC. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Stephen Hawkins likes what you're doing. Thank you, Hawkins. Um, yeah, yeah and we've got, an we've got another one here. We'll answer. We've got, uh, Ben on Skype. Come on, come on, come on. Ben, Skype. Hello. No, he's gone. That's an interesting point that Alan brought up earlier, guys. Um, if there was a so is there a song that you really, really want to be able to do, but it's just too hard? Uh, in the air tonight. Somebody beat us to it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally Seven, yes, they did. Yeah. What's your favourite tune? Is it something you've done originally, or do you, do you prefer the covers? Uh, favourite tune? What, we've done or somebody else's? Um, that, that you do in your repertoire, which is the best one? Which one gets the crowd going? Is the most fun to do? Power right and a kisser. Yeah, power right and a kisser. Power right and a kisser. Right kisser. It's, it's a new banger. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, mate. it's a it's an original by us. Yeah, a, a quote from uh, Jackie Gleason. Oh right. Ah oh, yeah. Family guy. Power right and a kisser. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you fans of Family Guy then? I love it. Oh yeah. yes, we're we're all, all, mate. Got it all mate. <laughs> we're all big Family Guy fans in here. Yeah. Apart from Joe, who doesn't watch TV, she's a geologist or something. I watch TV, I just don't watch Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got a family question. Guys. I got a question for you guys. Hello. Who are your favourite beatboxers? Ooh. Hobbit. <laughs> I'll say Hobbit straight away. He's, he's a good bloke, that bloke. Yeah. yeah. Hobbit's good. Uh, tight. He's a absolute legend. Been beatboxing since the seventies. Really. Yeah. Like Godfather a bit around here, mate. Because yeah. Pharrell's sort of well, widely known as the number one, isn't he? Pharrell? Yeah. No, he's more kind of like a something else, isn't he? Pharrell? <laughs> oh, Keller. Keller, I think oh, you mean, mate. Keller. No, 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 no. Uh, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh. Are you thinking of Beanie Man? No, no, no Beardy Man. Beardy Man. Be beardy man. Uh, oh, no, beardy it's man. not. Uh, is it? Oh, uh, Farside. Farside. Farside? No, uh. Are you reading off sci fi programs? <laughs> Are you thinking of Razel? Razel, that's Rozelle. it. Razel. Well, he's sort of widely known as the number one, isn't he? He held the title for a couple of years. Yeah, he's never battled anyone. Oh, hasn't he? Undisputed, yeah. my ass, mate. <laughs> ah, right, that's we've, fair we've enough. We've got then. a question from G Man Junior yep. as well, and he says, "What when? Sorry, I'll start that again. What was the band's first records they bought? What did we bought? Yeah. What, yeah. So what did you buy? What's your first record? The first record I ever bought. Mm. Evil Empire by Rage Against the Machine. Cool. Excellent. Nice Excellent album. Costly. You've got more taste than me already. It's <laughs> a bit embarrassing. Anyway. Mm. So what made you get into this, guys? I was very bored at home one day, and I heard Rozelle do it and thought, you know what, I'll probably give that a go. And yeah? like seven years later, it starts paying off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Brilliant. We're going to have another song for you in a minute. We've got Ian on Skype. Ian. Mm. No. It's working, is it, mate? Um, well, it is. It's just people are thick, mate. Basically, <laughs> um, and they don't know what they're doing. Uh, right, so we're going to get another another song from you now. What's this one called? Well, what was your first one called, actually? Uh, the first one's just called the intro. <laughs> the intro. Uh, the second one's called Lesson Six, which is uh, a cover version of a Jurassic Five tune that we need. Oh, cool! I love a bit of Jurassic Five. Yeah. Right. Are you just doing two for us tonight, or? Uh, we got another one coming. Yeah, uh, we got another couple. Uh, this is bass, though. Yeah, bass. Bit of. Uh... Base. Base. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, All right. let's have another one. Not the Tommy Boyd show. This is Corroboree and Lesson Six. No base. No base. Oh, base. We did Lesson Six. We did Lesson Six. Keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a week. I've had a week off, guys. I've had a week off, you know, and I've come back and no right. nothing seems to be working anymore. All right. Go for it. <laughs> cool. Base. How low can you go? Base. How low can you go? Base. How low can you go? How low can you go? Death row. Wanna brother know the back? Yeah, what is the incredible? The rap animal. The indelible. D to the power to not the one. Five oh say freeze. And I got none. And I got none. 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 Brace. How low can you go? Brace. How low can you go? Brace. How low can you go? Brace. 
shit up. Pierce, how long can you go? Pierce, how long can you go? Pierce, how long can you go? Pierce, 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 how long can you go? Just go. What a brother, no back again. What is the end? What a ball, the man, animal. The end of the party to the party number one. Five O C freeze, and I got none. Five O C freeze, 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 and I got none. And I got none. And I got none. That's the sound we release. We Sorry, so let's start that again. <laughs> you ready, yes? Yes, someone's put me off. He's got a musical instrument in his hand, he looks dangerous with it. Sorry, I just got the dish. Hey, but. <laughs> I'm trying to gauge when these things are going to end. I just, I can't. It's so unpredictable, yeah, it's but it's great. Ends when Simon runs out of breath, really, mate. <laughs> all right, that's it. Right, we're going to go because we're running a bit late. We're going to go straight into your next track, guys. If that's all right. That was it. That was it. Oh, that was two together. Yeah, all right, <laughs> all right. Nice cool, one. cool. Do you want another one? We could just give you a little freestyle. Yeah, cause, yeah. Let's have a freestyle. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, yeah. Hey. Thank you very much. Thank we've got, you. we've got a call. We've got a call. Hello. Can you check the answer on Skype? <laughs> 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 well, well done, Alan. I Alan Cannon, your new turn career. beatboxer. <laughs> Go <Right>. on, Alan. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it's myspace.com forward slash corroboree, which is C O R C O. Oh no, gone. You do it. Uh, C O R R O B O R W. You got it on the webcam as well. Is that it? 
There you go, on a oh. t-shirt look, eh? Oh, check that out. Wicked. Guys, uh, Jason, Jamie, Simon, that's been my favourite so far. Oh, fantastic. Something Mark different, something well. original. What do you think, Stu? Thumbs up from Big Stu. Thumbs up from About Stu. you, Ross? <laughs> About you, Aaron? I'm bloody loving it, mate. Yes, brilliant. You gonna record us some jingles? Yeah, sure. Yeah, All not? you gotta remember is not the Tommy Boyd show. Scratch it up, mix it up, beat it up, Ross will record it. We're right now. Uh, you, well, yeah, might as well do it while you're in the building. Yeah, why not, mate? Yeah. Guys, uh, Corroboree, thank you very, very much. Thanks, <laughs> If you want to increase your profits, go the extra mile for your customers, and bring loyalty to your business, then you need Play in Store. In house or online, Play in Store is your personal, made to measure music and marketing tool. Using the latest technologies, you can create your own tailor made music and messaging service, which until now has been unaffordable to everyone but the biggest businesses. Get more from your business by creating your own radio station. Go to playinstore.co.uk. Play Radio UK have teamed up with Virgin Wines to offer you a massive £20 discount off your favourite wines. Visit playradiouk.com forward slash Virgin Wines to start saving now and get your favourite wines delivered to your door. Play Radio UK and Virgin Wines for people who love their wine and a great deal. PlayRadioUK.com forward slash Virgin Wines. It's not the Tommy Boyd Show with Matt and Stu, only on Play 2 UK. Beware, the content of this show may offend. Um, that was good okay. stuff, I like yeah. that. Something different, fresh, original. Hang on a minute. I like the public enemy linking as well, because used to be a bit of a PE fan back yeah. in the day, you know? Yeah. yeah. Public Enemy, Onyx. Enemy. Did you like Onyx? The public Enemy number one. Battle yeah. said freeze. And a gun, no. <laughs> Can I tell him I never really had a, had a gun? That blows my ice ice baby out of the water. Yeah. It nice really though. does. Oh, I tell you, next karaoke concert, mate, I'll, uh, when, hopefully I'll have a voice this year. I'll, uh, I'll spin out... Yes, that's um, right. You did very well to actually sing anyway, though, yeah. didn't you? I'll spin out the old, uh, bass. How low can you go? But the PE version of it. Yeah. yeah. Be great. All right. Cool. So, you did something new last week? Yeah, oh. so, uh, so we have, uh, we have a whole bunch of the Skype antiphone messages. Right. Uh, which we uh, actively encouraged last week to uh, to um, for people to leave, and if Alan stops sending me a message, which pops up right in front of the icon I was trying to click, and then uh, where the heck is that? There it is. Right, you ready? So, um, so these, these, are, these are answer phone messages that people have left us on the Skype number. Yeah, so you can either call us on Skype at play.radio.uk, or you can call us on 0208 123 1088 during the week. Uh, and leave voicemail messages. So uh, this one's only two seconds. So I'm guessing this one's probably blank. But let's play it anyway. Yep, it's blank. Fantastic news. Right, play this one. You ready? Good afternoon. I'm waiting for my national sperm donor association. I was wondering if you would like to listen to our infertile policy, because we have rumoured to believe that one of our Sperm has been used to father your child. His name is Peter Chapman. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, I lost what he was saying in the middle, me, but I got me, me too. Yeah. Oh, hello there. This is a uh, high kick over Leiden. Uh, just leaving a message for Matt Holick. Uh, it's very nice to meet you last week, Mr. Holick. But I do wish you hadn't bummed me uh, because I had a bit of a shit race. <laughs> Goodbye. You know. <laughs> that person obviously never listened to Cakey Coverlining before, have they? Oh, man. <laughs> I can't see you right now, but I hear your mum's available. <laughs> Maybe I'll give her a call. <laughs> Milky Milky. <laughs> that is overstepping the line. Um, how about this one? Hello? Is this the one Honey Bank Club? Can I speak to your president, please? His name is Mr. Ian Lee. And I bring glue A for Alpha, I bring glue M for November, and Lee, that's L for Lima, E for Edward, and E for Edward. If you need to get hold of me, you, you contact me for Not the Tommy Boy show on Play Radio. My name is Mr. Alan. AKA Boris Johnson. Yes, it. My name is Boris Johnson. Thank you. Bye. What? what? Right. What? Stop. Stop that. Well, let's let's take Ian's call because Ian's been trying to get in touch with us for a bit and it wasn't working early. Hey, Hello, yeah. Ian. Hey, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yo, what's up? 
Sorry about that. My uh, mic was on mute. Ah, uh, the old mic on mute thing, huh? Yeah, I figured I'd call in and say hello to everybody. It's been rather a long time since I spoke to everyone. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, yes, yes I'm just saying hello. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> yes, hello. Yeah, what's up, man? Hello. What's happening, dude? Not a whole bunch. Hey. Yeah. Well, what's happening? Nothing, actually. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad he got I'm through. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm bored as shit. Yeah. Oh, man, join the club, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's Aaron. Aaron's trying to do that laid-back American voice. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just work. Yeah. Not doing it very well though. Where about in America? You from, Ian? I'm from Virginia. You remember that, don't you? No. <laughs> Matt, Matt, can't, Matt, Matt, Matt can't remember what he did last week, let alone remember where people are from. <laughs> I remember what I did last week. What's up, dude? Because the sign rem makes yeah, me remember. Yes, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Your gay top and your gay sign. Yeah. <laughs> your little gay hat. We would like to say, of course, that all mobile pro phone providers in the UK are just as good as the one that Matt is currently advertising. That's right. <laughs> nice. Although that is my provider of choice. So what have you been doing the last few weeks then, Ian? I um, am actually studying the uh, Russian language at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Oh, cool. Wow. Excellent. And, uh, and uh, doing well at it? I guess so. Yeah? Grades could improve a little oh, bit, but... Sorry, which which language was it? Russian. All right, say some stuff for us. Uh, you gonna do what to my pussy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should have given Max. Oh no, no, Heike's not not Russian, is he? No, no. no uh, uh, Matt, is it das das for Daniel? The Sudanian is goodbye. Yeah. There you go. Is that the only bit of Russian you know? Uh, I know, I know a little bit of Lithuanian as well. <laughs> right. yeah, We're um, on the subject of Russian here, Alan. Uh, Visegaro, uh, Labasritas, uh, Lithuanian. Uh, all, all you've got. Eknehu. You, haven't you? Isn't the only thing you've got to know? Smelda. Isn't the only thing you've got to know in Lithuanian is how much do you charge? <laughs> hey, hey! I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> it's nothing to do with me. So, so on what Lithuanian? What Lithuanian brothel trip did you learn these words? Hey, no. <laughs> Labas Ritas is good morning. Visegado is goodbye. That is how he skipped the question there. Mm. Hang on, hang on. Echnahu is that one. And Smirda is. Phew, that stings. Echnahu yeah. is like F U. Yes. So you learnt how to say, hello, can I F you? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Excellent. So, <laughs> on which brothel trip to Lithuania was this, Aaron? Um, last week. Last week. <laughs> Went with Randy by any chance, were you? Yeah, he was there. Mm. He Rand paid, it was his Randy idea. by name. Foreign horse shagger by nature. <laughs> <laughs> Class. Well, I hear there's loads of Eastern Europeans in uh, England now. Is that true? What's that? Yes, mate. You there's said... loads of Eastern Europeans. In yeah, there's loads of Eastern Europeans. A lot of them are going back apparently because they've made all their money over here now, and now the economy's going to shit here. They're going back to Poland and. No, well, what's what's happened? Happened? The, economy... the government in Poland have actually sorted themselves out. That's why everyone's going back. Yeah, right. yeah, they've realised they're losing all their workers, and they've started sorting out their. Uh, you know, their pay, and so the workers are thinking, right, okay, if you're willing to pay us that, then we'll come back and work for you. What does gas cost in England now? Oh, lots. One yeah. twenty, one twenty a litre for petrol, and one forty a litre for uh, diesel. diesel. So that's like a hundred dollars wow. in your money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here it's about four or ten for a gallon of cheap gas. Yeah, so that's cheaper than us, because an American gallon is 5 litres and a British gallon is 5.5. So if you take, if you take a litre ah. at, if you take a litre at 120, five times, that's 60 quid. 60, 60 pound? I ain't got a bloody clue, mate. No, no that's not right, is it? What am yeah. I on about? I didn't listen no, no. to a word you just said. I, what am I on about? about? You're talking numbers, I... Ah, whatever. Oh, no, that was well out. How did I manage to get 60 quid from multiplying by yeah. five, one pound 20? One pound 20 <laughs> times five is 60 pounds. quid. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm never buying anything off your car boot store. I bought five items off you, Stu. This one's a pound. That one was two. That'd be 60 quid, mate. I'll <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> never mind. Uh, how do you fare on eBay? Yeah, and it does. Yeah. Well, I'll you know, make a good profit on the old postage on eBay. Oh, don't talk to me about eBay. Brilliant. Ian, thanks, mate. Thanks for your calls. Good to see you yeah, again, yeah, mate. Yeah, right. Indeed. Take care, Ian. Um, Bye. See you soon. 01243 55 60 60. 0208 12, uh, 0208 123 1088. 
Email us at studio at playradio.com and Skype playradio.uk. Watch and listen at ntvs.com. Right. What other answer machine So there's two more to go. Okay. okay. Well, good evening. It's the, uh, it's the spirit of John Peel here. I just thought I'd call up and uh, leave a little birthday message there to uh, everybody in the studio. I believe that uh, not the Tommy Boyd show, or as it used to be called, the Tommy Boyd show. This <laughs> is one year old. Uh, this weekend, so uh, I'd just like to say happy birthday to you, and uh, I hope you're enjoying your uh, your cake and your balloons and everything like that. Unfortunately, I would call in, but uh, I'll be working uh, my new shift on my new radio station, uh, Heaven FM. Uh, I'm on after uh, Mike Dickin. He's uh, <laughs> another brilliant broadcaster up here who uh, is running the show with me. It's all splendid stuff. Anyway, have a have a great night. Ta-ra. Oh, Isn't that nice? Hill. And then the last one is this one. Hello, Chatters here. I just thought I'd let you know that I won't be listening to the show this evening. Well, at least not from the Burgess Hill Uncovered offices. I'm in fact going to be in Littlehampton, where I shall be enjoying the show with my fancy woman. Thank you. <laughs> Son <laughs> of you. <laughs> On the phone, hello? <laughs> Oh, good evening, yes, uh, first time listener, long time caller. Um, <laughs> <laughs> are there any bloody topics this evening? Oh, we have, we've what already spoke care? about them. Pardon? They have been mentioned, they have been mentioned. Well, you're not paying attention, Mr. G. But Mr. G? Mr. G, man. No, 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 no. it's first time caller, uh, long, first time listener, no, long time caller. No, it's the first time listener, long time caller, get it right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. First Timer. Uh, tonight's topic, Mr. Virgin. Yeah, Mr. Virgin. Mm. Mr. Virgin. Uh, is... Easy. Is, yeah, hang on, before we go any further, I wanted to ask you, how does it feel knowing that your wife took Chapa's virginity? Um, well, it's, I don't feel too bad about it, to be honest. No. How the hell did Aaron get those two kids, then? She's always... No, no. no. Wife, right. wife took Chapa's virginity. Oh, I see. <laughs> listen, first time listener, long time yes, caller. That makes much I, more I, yeah. don't, I don't mind, because the wife is always one for charity. Oh, bless. She likes to give. Um, so, this week's topics, uh, or topic, shall we say, is urban legends. Ooh. What urban legends do you know? What have you fooled for? Uh, f fell, what? Fallen. Fallen. Fallen, that's the word. I've got some printouts. Uh, and, uh, and which Get ones, which ones were you most upset when you found out they weren't true? I know exactly which one I found out. Well, well, well we spoke about it earlier, and it might be true. We're not sure. No, it might be true. Yeah, I think yeah. it's true that one. Um, um, like <coughs> Father Christmas. No, no, no. It was the one about the uh, about the guy found in a tree in a full diving outfit uh, after a, a forest fire. And, uh, uh, when they pick up the water. That's it. Yes, yes. But we're not sure that's not actually true because I'm sure we've seen that somewhere before. So listen, uh, first time listener, yeah. long time caller. Uh, is, is there a topic you'd like us to approach? V-Man, we were going to call him, by the way. V-Man. V-Man. <laughs> Very good, yes. Um, I don't really know. I mean, um, shall I get on to it and come back to you? Absolutely. No. Yes, right. Yes, uh, off. Right. Ta-da! Um, we got an email that says, uh, Good evening, gents, Joe and Aaron. Uh, a great urban legend is one is the one where you unlock a car door by a phone. Now, I've heard this one before. Oh, uh, legend has it that your phone you phone someone in their mobile from your landline and press the car car key fob down the phone, and the person on the mobile holds their mobile phone in the proximity of the car uh, associated with the key fob, and it would unlock the car. Does anyone know if that actually works? Allegedly, uh, but people claim it does, no. but it can't possibly work, just purely and simply based on the way key fobs work. Yeah, infrared no, can't be transmitted it's down not a phone even, line, It's not even it? red. It, most of them are, are wireless devices, but it's like trying to get... It's like getting a pirate radio transmitter in your bedroom and then phoning up your mate 50 miles away and him, he, and him putting it next to his radio and being able to hear what you're transmitting from 50 miles away. It doesn't work. Right. No. Right. So, um, also, did uh, Captain Pugwash ever get a definitive answer on the alleged innuendo? We yes. Do. We do have an answer on that. The definitive we? answer is that there was never such a character as Master Bates, Seaman nope. Staines, or Roger the Cabin Boy mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm. There in was, Captain however, Bush. a character called Master Mate. That's right. It was Master Mate, not Master Bates. Um, right. Was it? This is much love, Piers. And it says, yes. Go on. P.S. Will Alan Caddick shut up about Kate Lawler? We all know he wants to bum her. But does he have to keep bleating on about it? <laughs> so, it's a good point, well put. Mm. Yeah. Um, Stephen Marshall says, uh, Hi, can uh, Alan step out of the fish tank, please? Uh, he also says, Urban legends, Valerie Singleton and Joan Arbor Trading do not live together. I'd never heard that legend I before. I didn't know that one either. <laughs> wow. No. Who that one? Yeah. No. Did anyone ever hear the urban legend about uh, Walt Disney's body being cryogenically mm -hmm. frozen? Yeah. 
Is he not? So that he could be defrosted when yeah. uh, scientists have discovered a way of bringing him back to life. Yeah. Have you heard that one? Yeah. It's all nonsense. Really? He, uh, yeah, and apparently he was frozen and uh, buried under the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. He's oh, not. Never he was that. actually cremated and scattered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that's another one. Which his there. family didn't say that first of all, though, did they? They were quite happy to go on along with the freezing thing, weren't they? Yeah. I suppose because it was it, some it, years yeah. after that they came out and said, actually, no. I think they went along with the freezing things because uh, they had a, a themed uh, lollipop that you could buy from the Walt Disney stores at Walt Disney World. Was it a frozen dead Walt Disney? That's right. Inside, you like the te tequila worm inside a lolly. Yeah. You could get a lollipop with a, a little Walt Disney inside, and you can lick it and eat him. Cool. Yeah. Actually, I'm talking bollocks. It's yeah. an urban legend. This one I've just made up <laughs> yeah. right in front yeah. of you. Wow. you see, I'm I just suckered had it. And you were suckered, wow. man. Wow. You see how I did that? Did it's it amazing. 01243 55 60 60. What are your urban legends that you know that maybe you even think they're still true? I don't know. 01243 55 60 60. Studio at playradiouk.com. Play.radio.uk on the Skype. And nttbs.com if you want to watch or listen to us. Mm. <laughs> Click in there. Uh, do you want to hear this? I've had this uh, from Andrew Crisp that says, uh, I was bored like playing that. about with my computer and came up with some audio. And to be fair, it sums up one of your regular callers, Chris. As like many of his call, this, in, this, this audio has 100% no point to it. A fitting <laughs> tribute I think you'll find. You ready? How long is it? Uh, 37 seconds. Go for it. Uh, I would do, but now, oh, there we go. 57 seconds. I do apologise. Are you, oh, there we go. Right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. I've clicked. Hello? Back. What's going on? What? Sorry, bud. Hello? Hello? What's going on? What? Sorry, bud. Hello? Are you speaking to me? Hello? 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 What? Are you speaking to me? Hello? 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 What? Can I ask you a question that might have been missed in the debate? Hello? Fucking hell. You what? There's no argument from me. Hello? Hello? What? Can I ask you a question that might have been missed in the debate? Hello? Fucking hell. You what? What? Are you speaking to me? Rose, what? Fucking hell. What? Hello? What? Hello, what? Hello, what? Hello? What? Sorry, bud. What? Where are you there? What? Fuck up. What? Rose, what? Are you there? What? Hello? What? <laughs> that was great. That's good, isn't it? Who's on the phone? Hello? I love that, that was brilliant. Was, was that Derek who did that? Hello? Hello? <laughs> 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 no, that was Andrew Crisp who did that, so. Oh, I'm on, am I? I thought I wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we said hello. Yeah, and then somebody said hello. Is this becoming him? That was your that? media <laughs> player, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Urban legends, right? Yeah. This is a true story. I spread an urban legend about, well, Ten years ago now that Richard Whiteley was an unreliable bastard. <laughs> <laughs> this is Arnold Testify, I'm a right wind-up merchant. Yeah, he is, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and I, I was at uni and I put up a poster just saying, Richard Whiteley going to appear to give a lecture. <laughs> and then I put at the bottom of the poster so nobody would fall for it. He'll be, he'll be available in the cafeteria later as he's sampling the jam waffles. <laughs> See, no one's going to believe that, are they? No. Well, I was in a, I was in a seminar an hour before I'd put the scheduled lecture, and the tutor said, I'm going to let you go early because Richard Whiteley's on in a bit, and I think you should all go and see what he has to say. <laughs> like, oh, my God. And I didn't go myself. I couldn't face it. I told you that. And there was a real graphic design lecture on at the time with 16 people in it, and... All of a sudden, the lecture hall opened and people flooded it. They came from all the different campuses in Hull. They even brought video cameras to film it. And the, the graphic design lecture said, and I'd like to introduce so-and-so, so-and-so. And this Japanese lad stood up at the front and said, No, it isn't. It's Richard Whiteley. <laughs> he went, I'm afraid you're all victims of a cruel hoax. And 300 people stood up and walked out. <laughs> Oh, this isn't the worst bit. Six months later, a poster had gone up, Richard Whiteley, to host Student Video Awards. So I thought, oh, which bastard's going to catch in on my gag here? Yeah. And one of the tutors in the elevator said, Richard Whiteley is not, will not, and will never be lecturing at this university. <laughs> anyway, it turned out that this was real. <laughs> and nobody showed up because they thought it was another gag uh. and 
Day 16 later, I'm been, I'm watching Countdown in Leeds, two episodes in an evening. Anyway, Richard Whiteley comes up to me in the audience and he goes, Oh, it's George Dawes! <laughs> I thought, right, you bastard. So I said, sorry about that gag, by the way. He said, what gag? And I said, when I told everyone you were going to be showing at the university. And he went, Ah, oh, this is what this is all about, is it? He gave me the microphone and I explained to the studio audience what had happened. <gasps> and then Carol grabbed the microphone and she said, this is what this is all about. She said, I was doing the National Lottery 12 months ago, and the producer's son came up to me and said, Richard Wiley was supposed to show at Humberside Uni today, and he didn't show up. <laughs> he said he's not like him, and he always showed up for those sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> so he had spread that far from one fucking poster. <laughs> is that, is that a really, tr really a true story? That is a genuine story. I can even photograph the autograph he wrote for me. It said, Dear George. <laughs> but that is absolutely true. And he was a good... 100% honest, that. He was a good sport about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He shook my hand and everything. He was giggling. Brilliant. Listen, Leslie, that's a great urban legend. Thank you very much for your call. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 <laughs> Sunday night just got better on Play 2 UK. Hello there, this is Sean Williamson. All right, then, it's it's Barry from EastEnders. Don't you ever shut your great, big, fat cake hole up. If you're listening to me now, that means you've missed me. But don't worry, yes, you can hear me again at playradiouk.com slash podcast. And don't miss Hershey's Half Hour next Sunday night from 10 o'clock. Hershey's Half Hour. 30 minutes of top flight entertainment expertly crammed into two hours. Sundays from 4 on Play 2 UK. For perfect personalised cards for any occasion delivered through the letterbox, go to playradiouk.com forward slash moonpig. Broadcasting live to the UK. UK. News, information, entertainment, and the best music from the past 40 years. This is Play 2 UK. This is not the Tommy Boyd Show with Stu and Matt on Play 2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show may offend. We had some beatboxes in earlier. Corroboree. Bloody good. Um, C O R R O B O R. We'll put the link up on Facebook, I think. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, MySpace.com slash corroboree. Now, um... I heard this one. This was on YouTube, but it was, it's been around for ages and ages and ages, this one. Yes. About, probably about a year, but this is great. It's from, like, Austrian Idol or something like that, this guy was. Um... Pardon. Ah, ben, on a vu hier, c'est ce que je disais, pardon. Which is why you can't understand the word of it. Bonjour, Zéna, vous appelez Joseph. Vous venez d'où? Je viens de... Oup. Sept. Et vous allez nous chanter une chanson de Corneille. Yeah, because you can't understand the word he's saying at the moment, obviously. So just spin on a little bit. This is one guy. That's really, really Isn't good. It? That's the best bit for me. Hello on the phone. Baby Dingo! It's not ten past eight yet. Sorry, Alan. I'm early. Yes, you are. <laughs> that's, not the best, that's not the first time he's heard that. <laughs> 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 You're early. Oh, he's been dumped, though. You is missed he? You missed the big news. Can I, um... Yeah, yeah. You missed the big news that uh, Alan is no longer with his woman. Wow. When, when did that happen, then? Uh, last week, it's not. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah. him. It was her. 
That's right. Well, was, that's it, what you would have expected. It, it was her man. It, it wasn't it, down it was to it. her. No, no. It was all her fault. Yeah. Issues that she had to get over. That's it. Exactly. That's what it was. Rather than the fact that he was a weirdo. I don't think she was happy sharing him with other radio stations. You know. So his girlfriend was a radio station. No, because of all the calls he makes to stations, she, he just didn't have enough time for her. I think that's oh what dear. it was, to be honest. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. That's what. Uh, that no, 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 no. Let's take a minute to understand the gravitas of that. Gravity. He got dumped. Because he'd rather spend time on the phone to a talk radio station than he would getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. Hey! No, again, that's another urban legend I just made up. Right. I just, I've just wow. made that up. <laughs> wow. And you fell for it again, Matt. Oh! No, he did honestly get dumped, though. Right, okay. That much is true. Brilliant, thank you very much. Uh, we've got, we've got Beardy Man's kitchen thingy up. Oh, this is sweet. Which is... Which is unbelievable, guys. If you've not if you've not heard or seen a Beanie Man, I think he is possibly the best in the world. Um, so I'm going to hold this up here, just while we play it. Because if you go to nttbs.com, you'll be able to watch and listen to the show, um, and you'll be able to see the Beanie Man video. Because I think the video oh, goes slightly hand this. in hand really with uh, with with the audio. Okay, <coughs> so we'll play you some of this. This is uh, cooking with Beanie Man. It's got no audio. It's got no audio. You've not muted it, have you? Ah, that'd be why. Look, look, here we go. All right, okay. I'm having a mare tonight, here aren't I? Here we go. Oh, you, right, okay. Cooking with Beardy Man. Now I'm going to show you how to make one of the most effective breaks of all. This break is called the Electro Funk Daddy Superstar Break. Now, for this, you'll need a that's an 808 clap, and also a bit of that's a dry snare. Then you'll also need some that's a 909 clap snare, and then of course some that's a kick, and then the that's some bass, and some and for good measure that's the synth. Oh, and no break of course would be complete without a bit of a shuffle. So for this we're going to use some household white noise. You can get this from your TV. I got mine from Sainsbury's. Now. <laughs> You have to make sure you've filtered out some of the middle frequencies, otherwise your white noise will sound very much like this does, which is You don't want that. We want a much more, more tinny sound with a bit of rhythm to it, so let's see if we can't use this household sieve to filter it out. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Who'd have thought, eh? Now, let's give it a spin and see if it's got any rhythm. Definitely got rhythm. Fantastic. Now I'm going to add the... And one by one in order. Let's see if it works, shall we? You can certainly ensure that you at least get a decent break. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. That's I'm, a good I'm video, that. that uh, no! Get it, please! Talking about haze in the mouth! Talking about. Hello! 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 No! 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 Are you an alcoholic? Hello? 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 Well, I don't know. What Hello? You know? I can't understand the thing. What? I'll turn about. Hello? I got it. Is that you? Yeah, hello, mate. Hello? Hello, that was our tribute band. Perfect. No, really good. You're all right, they're knocking on the head. They've had enough fucking queen. And we never did that well. Bicycle. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right, mate. You? I'll tell you what, I can't hear you very well. I can't hear scaremo. Yes, we had that. I'm going in. I'm backing into the toilet away from the strikes. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What kind of people oh, do you have around your house, Chris? What's on my ass? Did you say? What? Is it terrible, Lloyd? Is it? Yeah, it's all the malicious, I can't hear you. Probably uh, take the mic down a bit. You probably think I'm ranting on in a 
I don't, uh, oh. Can you hear me now? Yeah, no, no, no. No, I can't really. No. Anyway, I don't <laughs> think it's what you call conducive to a conversation. <laughs> Never mind that. They don't have any bloody queen. I've asked him, they've got no. Seven, seven. Oh, no, well, go on then. Seven, 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 seven. All right, hello. Can they, can they do the proclaimers, 500 miles? The proclaimers. Can you do the proclaimers, uh, Philomena? Yeah. Go on then. Well, how's it go? We are we No, we can't. We can't. She wants to ride a bicycle. Right. They're not, you're not holding the. They're not holding the. I'll tell you what, if she, if she, get, if she gets that bicycle and, and rides it over a Hello, cobble Chris, road, how are you, mate? she might get more enjoyment. Yeah, she's ready there. What are you going to do? 7 6. Bloody Europe. What? Go on. Bloody Europe. I'm in black, black. She better have an Indian. I'm in black, black. I'm in black, black. Anyway, we don't have any of that. I'll bring you back after the news. Okay. Uh, and tell you about the weather. Oh, it's her. It's her. Right now, Alan's now late for the movie review. Uh, Is he on? I think that. Here he goes. Alan, play the fucking jingle. Now oh, there's no need for that kind of language, is there, Alan? Well, it's, well, it's, it's a jingle, so it's still it's came warmer as if I was doing the sport. All right, cheers, nice one. Just a no would have done. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. One, two, three. Good evening! This week's movie review is about the show called Feel Good Movie of the Summer, Mamma Mia! This film stars Mel Streep as single mother Donna Sheridan. This film also stars Pierce Brosnan, Colin Firth, and Stellian Skarsgård as the three potential fathers to Donna's daughter Sophie, who is played by Amanda Seyfried. But do we give a shit about that? I feel that watching this is a waste of two hours of your life, and why not? It's like wanting to go to Alton Towers, but going to Warsaw Leather Museum instead. It was so cam, and none of the cast could sing at all. Especially Pierce Wadman, he sings like Daniel O'Donnell. In total, I will give Mamma Mia a way to the Birmingham City and a Aston Villa. Till next time, it's over to all people who can resume normal service for this week. That's Alan the Webmaster, the very sexy Joe, Subal, and back the nice Master Bastard! Oh, Marvellous. Are you still there, Alan? No. No, no he has actually gone. <laughs> wow. I like this. This is funky. Who provided this music? Aaron. Well done, Aaron. <laughs> remix by my good friend, Mr. Sheldon Diffusion. Sheldon Diffusion? Well, his, his remix name is Diffusion. I could do an impression of the guy on the plane on the way to Boston. Run him. <laughs> Just <laughs> head nodding. <laughs> Did he have his headphones on? Yeah. yeah for seven hours. <laughs> Hello on the phone. Hello? Oh, oh hello. Ha hello, Shrook. Hello, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Oh, very good, thank you. I got to New Zealand this morning. Uh-huh. And I got to get the Daily Mail. It had Pride and Prejudices on the front today, didn't it? No, you idiot. <laughs> Fucking Barry Manilow. Oh! <laughs> how is it? Oh, uh, what do you think I have? One trick fucking pony? <laughs> 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 you know a lot of craft goes into this shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I buy it. It's shit, shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we'd get there in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. How are you, Shirok? He's gone. You, you're gone. Oh, bless him. <laughs> Hello on the phone. Just like that. Just like that. See, it's line two that has that funny... Can you hear it? Can you hear the line... That the f Line two has that funny, uh, echo. It does, it does have a funny thing going on with it, doesn't it? It does have a little bit of a funny thing, yeah. Thank you. Change Change time. Time. Yes, that'll do, thank you. <gasps> Change time. Wow. Amazing. <sighs> we got some more... Oh, oh Dolly Parton. I've got oh, another that's bit of audio. funny, that is. That's funny. Is it? Yeah, it is. Should we play it? Dolly Parton's tits. Play it. It's hilarious. Uh, this one? Yeah. Open. What is this? A bit of chubby? There I think go. so, yeah. I'd like to see the coyote eat the road runner. I'd like to see Kadeebo blown to bits. I'd like to see Rex Humbert lay his hands upon body B. But I'd love to see that Dolly Parton's tits. Yeah, I'd love to see that Dolly Parton's tits. 
Cause they're so big and soft and round And they don't make a sound Hello, the Hello on the phone What do you think of my waiting system, man? What did I think of you, what? Rating system for the film are now, you? now you've got to understand. Alan's got this rating system for for movies, right? Um, it, it couldn't be any more complicated. To be perfectly <laughs> honest with you, right. only um, Alan understands it. The only way, I, the only way I can remember it is that Birmingham City means it's rubbish, and That's Aston one. Villa means it's great. That's five. And everything else in between became a blur. Yeah, 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 we don't, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, Alan. Yeah. All this Alan, 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 I want you to stop talking. I want you to just calm down for a minute and listen to me. Yeah, you, okay, that is the most appalling rating system <laughs> I've ever heard of. <laughs> it, well, especially as, uh, come up with a short notice. Especially the vi as the villa got beaten in a friendly yesterday, which yeah, is quite amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What we should do, Alan, well, what we should do, Alan, right. Alan, 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 you're doing it again. You're doing it again, <laughs> mate. Just calm down. Shit bubble. Okay, oh, Alan, all right, we, Alan, get, we get it. We do, get you, it. do you think we should come up with a rating system for your calls? No, you can buzz me off like you're supposed to. <laughs> I've not used the buzzer. No, that's what, where you're going wrong. You're not using the buzzer, so you let me stay on. <laughs> right. It did take time. Oh, he's gone. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Oh, what a shame. We're trying to be nice, not use the buzzer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then he goes, and he wants please, to. please, cut me off with the buzzer. Yeah. Guess who's on Skype? Um, I don't know. Uh, perhaps... Uh, First time list a long time, Skyper? Uh, <clears throat> Good evening. <laughs> good, e good evening. Uh, so good to hear you, Matt. So good to hear me what? So good, good to hear you, so good to hear you back. It was a compliment. I know you don't get it very often. <laughs> Um, it is a compliment that's, I don't get very often. Unusual. Yeah, it is, it is unusual. Now let's turn- Hello on the phone, you must be much more interesting. Worrying is a lot like riding a walking horse. Oh, fuck that up, haven't I? <laughs> 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 what was it meant to be? Well, I just spoke like Alan Caddick. <laughs> Double W's and R's. <laughs> what, what was it meant to be? It was supposed to be, worrying is a lot like riding a rocking horse. It doesn't get you anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice All one. Right, okay. Yes. Uh, you see, G-Man, that was a call. Are you saying, well, uh, I am the most hated caller on the, uh, on the shrine at the moment. I can't understand that. Oh, uh, uh, you know, I'd be slightly disappointed if I don't that part, to be honest. Yeah, uh, it's exact, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, Anyone understand the word he said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is some sort of poll going on. Well, that's not going to help anybody who's a first-time listener to the show, are they? Do you want some me to explain? Strange poll on a forum. <clears throat> All right. No, 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 we'll leave it. It's fine. How do you know you've got any first-time listeners? Well, I'm listening for the first time. Oh uh, yeah. Help them, Joe. My name's Jim Andy. Yeah. Hello. How are, how are you? you? Oh, I'm doing okay. Good. Good. <laughs> that's uh, it. Are the the shrine the not the Tommy Boyd or the Tommy Boyd? Boring, 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 boring. Oh, would you prefer me to sing or something or what? Yeah! yeah do oh, it. do a queen or this. Do something half decent, G Man, other than ring up and talk about some small online poll on a forum somewhere. Oh, so re right, okay, let's talk about something interesting then. How was Silverstone? Silverstone was <laughs> lovely, yeah. Um, do, blah, do, you have blah, an, blah. do you have an urban legend? I don't actually, I'm not, I'm not a big into these urban legends. Is there really any sure reason what whatsoever you phoned up tonight, G Man? Do I need it? <laughs> <laughs> kind of helps. This isn't a catch up with your family, it's a talk show. <laughs> to be fair, you're probably much better than most of your family, so, um. Aww. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't realise. That's you really nice actually have a reason to ring in now? Well, it helps to no ring one up with, will call in with something. <laughs> You know, <laughs> uh, other other than hi, I'm hi, hello, how are you, and and leave it at right, that. I'll go away and do research then. Why don't you make up an urban legend Still and try and fool somebody me. with it, and include our phone number in that urban legend and get them to call in in a panic? Right. I don't know how All that would work. Like six hour and forty minutes. Yeah. yeah. Good man. I'll get right on. Do. Cheers, G. Yeah. That's a pleasure. Uh, I'm going to go and get working. Yes. Uh, Come back with something, G-Man. I will do. I'll I mean, uh, get straight on that. If all I'll else come back fails, with something good, something good for you, Matt. Yeah, you something could just flush the toilet. Welcome back into the welcome back into the bosom of the uh, the Play Radio fans. That would be lovely, G-Man, if you could do that for me. I know you missed me last week. I heard you. I don't. Well, I, heard, I was speaking to you on the phone. Well, it was <laughs> very quiet. 
Well, I got buzzed off, actually. Yeah. Did you? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Catch that bit. Oh, uh, it was good, yeah. And sorry, good. sorry, G-Man, just, just to, um, prove a point about yeah. the, uh, first-time listener to the show, uh, we're actually talking to oh. one on Skype now. Who's actually Skyped you? John, hello, John, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you get some right nutters on your show, don't you? Oh, yeah. That's what That's he says. He's from in the studio. So there you go, first-time listener, G-Man. I'm, I'm shocked and chagrined. <laughs> <laughs> G-Man, find me back with something good. See you in a bit. Imagine what it's like waiting. Just waiting. Waiting with your life on hold. Waiting for an organ transplant. This year, around a thousand people in the UK could die waiting. Simply because there aren't enough donors. More of us need to join the NHS Organ Donor Register, so please, don't wait. Join the register now. Call 0845 60 60 400 or visit uktransplant.org.uk. It's not the Tommy Boyd Show with Matt and Stu, only on Play 2 UK. Beware, the content of this show may offend. <sighs> it it might do. Yeah. Yeah. If it doesn't, we st we definitely uh, now. Can we just have a quick on-air production meeting while this? We can after we've taken this call. Go on, then. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, good. I'm just ringing for a ketchup. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Tomato. No. Oh. HP. <laughs> what brown sauce then? No, I just didn't have a reason to call, so I thought I'd call. Right. Who, who is this? Dead Wardo. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. You still there? Yeah, of course I'm still here. Okay. I've got absolutely nothing to say. No? No point. I have not listened to the topics. Hello, on the phone? <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> I can't believe he's fucking done it again! Alan's got in there first again. Oh, that oh. Matthew is going to be so cross. Is that the name of the guy that does the mate from Yeah, he says, hello, my name's Matthew. I, I, yeah. Should we all give it a go, actually, just to really cheese him off? No. Yeah, come no. on. I can't do it. I come on, do give, it. It, give it a crack. Give it a crack. No. You're me for you. Yeah, that's very good, but he, he does it, uh, and it's that uh, way, like, one week he rang up and said, that, you know, this is riding a motorbike or something, or this is how you... Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he's yeah. very good at doing that. Yeah. A Lancaster yeah. bomber. That's right. Lancaster bomber. Mm. Oh one two four three fifty five sixty sixty oh two zero eight one two three ten eighty eight. 1088 studio at playradiouk.com skype play.radio.uk nctbs.com to watch and listen Stu you were going to say something was I? yes then we took the call yeah, uh, yeah that's right remind me on air production meeting oh on air production meeting yes musical intros after advert breaks and especially at the beginning of the show Right. You don't like that, do you? No. I thought it worked much better with it. I enjoyed it. Because I... otherwise it's like you get a bit of a sort of jingly and then it just goes... That's Hello. right. I hate that. I absolutely hate the fact you get this human zoo jingle, right? Everything's really nice, up tempo, blah, 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 and then the mics go live and we're all like... Hi. <sighs> Evening. God, we're back then. Do you know what I mean? It's a talk show. It's like you suddenly go, boom. You're right. Does, does, does Whale go straight into talk after a jingle, or does he have some kind of intro thing that he talks over? We're not Whale. No, but I'm just asking Did the Tommy question. ever have any intro music? No. Well, actually, he did, yes, because if you remember rightly, he had that, uh, he had a, m not ro not metal, but a rocky type music that you put in for him. Yeah, but that wasn't a bad, that was just, that was just underneath the jingle. Yeah, but it was, he could talk over it at the start of the show to bring in, that was what I meant. Okay. That's my impression of a whale. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder what the hell he was going on there. Oh, my God. It's hard work, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Hello on the phone. Yeah, but the trouble is... Hello, mate. The trouble is, if I'm talking to you, I can't listen what's going on. And what... Oh, well, I'm not here to debate you. I'm here to debate with him. Tell him what I think. Well, I will... Why don't you tell him what you think? Tell him what I think, Fuck, hey. They don't know what to talk about on the radio at all now. They're not on the fucking radio. Here, listen to this, man. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All, right, all right, well, I'm not here to debate with you. I want... ...to get his in order. Come on, Ed, lad. I'll tell you what. No wonder they think I'm a raving lunatic with people surrounding like that. Oh, I just wanted to find a... Excuse me, mate. Who are you talking to? 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 Excuse me, mate. Who are you talking
the internet because they are so stupid. They don't think that they... Really? Yeah. Well, what did what she say? It's her birthday, and you come in here now a year and a fucking... I'm just telling that to Robin. 364 days later, and you start saying, oh, it should be on, um, we'll have it this way, and more saxophone playing. What do you want to make? You want saxophone playing, I can bring you a saxophone. No, we saxophone, burning this cup. Hang on, fucking hell, now we're blowing it, Bernie. I know it's Philomena, it's Philomena. And then she got Phil a saxophone. Philomena, I, I get the impression that Philomena's ugly. She's a little bit sore, <laughs> and she's had her oh. nose put out of joint, Ooh. because she doesn't want to go to the beatbox workshop. <laughs> well, I do. Well, I don't want to sign up. So could you perhaps yeah. talk to me? I tell you what. Never mind all that. Cats on drugs, pharmaceuticals. We don't. A ketamine. Oh, crying out. But you can see the trouble I'm having, can't you? It's a hard anyway, life, isn't it? How's, that, how's the top DJ, Mr. Lollick? You're hearing back after listening to all them uh, Formula One vehicles. Oh, um, unbelievably loud they are, aren't they? That's really You're good. Right, so you can hear me then. I'm not like shocking the eardrums. Uh, no. My mate's gonna pay anyway. That's another subject. <coughs> right then, I forgot what I was gonna bring up about. Okay. okay. Oh yes, Queen. She wants to do. She's looking for a job. You don't even look like a fuck. Well, you do look like a bloke. <laughs> 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 We're gonna have a go at you now. See how you like it. Like, I'll ring you back in a bit. Tell her. See you, girl. Oh, no, but right, we've got to get to this. No, yeah, this guy, John. On Skype, hello. John, John Hammond. Mm -hmm. Is he there? Mm. I think he might be having mic problems. Meet. All right. John, John Hammond. Meet. On Skype. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Is his fader up, Matt? Fader's up. Is he talking through the Skype test call, Steve? We oh, he's gone. Yeah. No, he's not. Is he no. there? Is there? Oh. He's still there. Oh, he's going to check his microphone. There we oh, go. Oh, all right. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just leave it. Okay, I'll work well, him I'll, end, I'll, I'll, end, I'll end back. Call, call us back, John. If you have a quick, if you have a quick look on Skype, John, there's a uh, there's a test call number you yeah. can call, to test your mic, and uh, try that there. That'd be good. Alternatively, if you are in the UK, you can call. Oh, if you were anywhere in the world, you can call this number: oh one two four three fifty five sixty sixty. But obviously, outside the UK, it's going to cost you a bit more. Yeah. So what what point are we at in the show now? <laughs> in a way, we're at uh, we're at. Half past eight. Half past eight. Sometime during this hour, there's a, a Weedles wind-up to go out and a Leslie video. Well, the Weedles wind-up usually happens at about <gasps> eight twenty-nine and twenty-nine seconds according to the clock. Mm. Right. So that's a minute and nineteen seconds to go. Right. I just made that number up, by the way. So now an urban legend. <laughs> <laughs> another urban legend. You're falling for a match. Let's have another urban legend, Aaron. Come on. I've got an urban legend for you. Lemmings occasionally throw themselves off cliffs. Right. This, this is all codswallop. This was all made up by Walt Disney's film company, who were making a documentary on lemmings, right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They shipped them in, they hoarded them up, and they forced them to jump off a cliff, and they filmed it. Nice. Seriously, <laughs> the, whole, the whole die. tale... Of course they died. The whole tale about them throwing themselves off cliffs and migrating and stuff like that, it's all nonsense. They don't actually do that. Why would someone that. come up with that and do that? God knows. God knows. Disney well, was making does, some yeah. sort of We must ask wildlife. John Peel to ask God. Yes. He could. Yes. Ask John Peel to ask, uh, ask Walt Disney. What are you asking me for? Well, it'd be an even big... i tell you what, that'd be a miracle if you can do it. Uh, who's on well, Skype? Might... I'll get me Ouija board out. Because it might Here's be... me. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yeah, it's me. It's Davey. Hey. Davey, how hey. are you, mate? I'm in the middle of a bloody great thunderstorm and I can't watch your show because of it. Oh, that's no. a nightmare. Where are I you? Back home? Or something or so, yes, I'm back home. I was in Britain for a couple of Sundays, so I wasn't with you then, but I'm catching up on the podcast. Most disappointed. Jolly good, jolly good shows they were. You should have you should have told us when you were coming, mate. You could have come in and said hello. Made it well, you tell public. me now. <laughs> um, I'm going actually. I'm going actually uh, to the Hyde Park thing next Sunday. Oh, yeah. I'm going back to collect my daughter. Brilliant. Does anybody stand down to Hyde Park? You know the thing on Facebook. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is it, we can't, uh, we can't. All those that are going to be down there on Hyde Park next Sunday. Well, God willing, I'll be there. So uh, maybe get a chance to meet up with some of you down at Hyde Park next Sunday. Yeah, let's yeah? hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. And I'm a bit. And I'm a bit slimmer. Oh yeah, you've lost a bit yeah. more weight. A bit more, another two kilos since, since the end of the, uh, that's since the end of the contest. Good so man, that's good going. Good I man. I hope you are as well, Stu. 
What did I what did I weigh in at final? Was it like seventeen eight? Something like that. I'm you now know? I'm well when I got on the scales this morning I was sixteen thirteen, so wow. flipping it, you're catching me up. It was another half stone off since the I'm so the proud of you guys. I really am. Shut up, Lanky. <laughs> when was when was that the Peter's challenge to you and was that going to Oh, well, I, well I believe I believe that uh, there was an informal challenge made that by the first of August I had to lose more than him. So yeah, uh, I'm seven pounds up now, mate. Hope he's doing well. Well, yeah. he's uh, getting himself in uh, the old exercise routine now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's getting a lot of exercise from your wife. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she put she put it about then. Your wife. She seemed a wholesome girl to me. She did last night. Maybe we can all weigh in on the first of August. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah, it'd be good. Good. How was your trip over here then? All right, apart from the weather. Yeah, it was great. It was great. I mean, I came with my family. We drove over. Um, I had a good time. Went up Woodsmade Zoo and uh, um, you know around. The, went went down to um, Branksome Chime or whatever it's called in Bournemouth as well. One time and. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we had a good old uh, run around. I'm not driving back again because it's such a ruddy <coughs> slog. It's two days to come over and two days to get back, and I, I'm trying to do all the, uh, you know, all the, all the exercise I can for the marathon. I'm still trying to run the marathon in September, and of course that's four days out of my training schedule. Yeah, I can imagine. So yeah. I'm gonna just gonna take the plane next time. It's half the price. Well, do you know how much it costs to come through the tunnel? Uh, which one? Yeah. The uh, the Channel Tunnel? Yeah, the Channel Tunnel. No, the yeah, Dartford yeah, Tunnel. tunnel. Well, you might have met the Dartford Tunnel. I don't know, do I? No, I have no idea, actually, mate. Sorry. Well, give it a guess. Go on, give it a guess. 25 quid. 25 quid, you think? No. 90. <laughs> I bet it's about more like 100, isn't it? Uh, each way or, or return? Uh, it'll be a 150... Give me the one-way price, because I don't actually know the return price. OK, then the one-way... The one way 95 quid. 145 quid, mate. Bloody wow. hell. So that was before the summer holiday started. Yeah, but you know why this is? It's for a good reason. We're keeping the French out. <laughs> they can afford it better than we can, mate. That's yeah, no. <laughs> Class, class. Good. Well, it's nice to be back anyway, mate. And, uh, and uh, obviously we'll be looking at your channel, youtube.com slash usenet posts for, yeah. uh, for all the vids. Right. Stuff up, yeah. For all the vids, mate. And uh, I've got all the stuff coming up. I'll be, I'll probably win in a week or so. I'll be back up to date with it all. Oh, brilliant! Okay, well, you're going to have your holiday vids up there as well. Yeah, I'll have some as well. Yeah, they'll, they'll be. Come, I'll be putting them on gradually because I like to interlace it, a bit of talk radio, a bit of comedy, a bit of my travel stuff. You know, and so, so that because I've got people that, that look on there for different things, I've got to keep all the groups happy. So yeah, sure, so I've got to sure. interlace it a little bit. Brilliant! Cool. Love it, loving your work, Davey. Yeah, it's great. Nice to see you back there, mate. Thank you. All the best. Talk to you soon, alright. Take, Take care, bye. Take care. Right. Right. Weedles about. Email says, uh, hello guys, this is a written challenge for the prankster. You will have to get up very early to catch me out, and I know that you will never, ever get me. Well, I shall just say this. I'm not going to tell you if I will, I'm not going to tell you if I'm not. All I will say is, you better be kind and courteous to everybody that calls you. Hello? <laughs> uh, good evening, this is a courtesy call on behalf of uh, Hale and uh, Hello? Am I speaking to uh, Mr. Caddock? Yes, you are, actually. It's just a courtesy call, just to see if you're happy with the services that you've got so far from yes, us. Definitely. Excellent. And uh, your laptop, are you, are you happy with your, your free laptop? Yes, I am. I've been using it all week. Good. What about the broadband service? Is that okay for you so far? Yes, it is. Now, the reason I'm calling is because, obviously, your laptop is not covered by us, but you still do have a, a, a one-year warranty from us here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, and there's certain websites that if you go to, you may pick up a virus and things like that. So you've got well, to make sure that well, you're... Well, I've got an antivirus on it. Right, okay. And I've, and I've got an Adwell on it as well. Excellent, okay. Now, also, I've noticed, uh, obviously, because of the way the Internet works, as of 2009, certain uh, Internet service providers, it'll be their duty to make sure that their users are using the Internet properly. Uh, and uh, we're just uh, running through tests at the moment, and we just noticed that you're, there are a few certain websites that you're visiting. Oh! All right, KathyBarry.com. Which that was just a one-off. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, that was just a one-off. Right, uh, JennaJameson.com. 
No, I've never used that site. Right, okay. It's showing up on your uh, your IP address there. Uh. Well, no, no. But I'm, I know if I've used it. Right. And I know I haven't. Okay, there's just one or two more sites. Because I've made a note of all the addresses I use. Right, okay. There's just one or two more sites I'd like to run past you here. Uh, Big Boys in Boots. No, that's not me. Right, okay. Um, what else have we got here? Just, that's just not, r- running that's not me. I like it in the bomb dot com. No, that's not me. No. That's not me. Right. Okay. Because okay. I'm not gay. I'm hundred percent straight. Right. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not suggesting anything, sir. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not suggesting anything. I just, I just, it's just that some of these websites do carry viruses. You see, if you go, if you go onto the websites unprotected. One more here that's coming up. I don't know if this has come up as a pop up. Or, or anything like this. Um, Animalsex.co.uk. No. No. All right. Okay then. Okay. Uh, just, just a, just a, just a courtesy call, just to make sure you know that you're steering clear of these websites because they, they are full of viruses, and the last thing we want is for you to get a virus on your laptop. I've got a bit of a question. Yes, certainly, sir. Is your name Unread or by any chance? It's not actually. It's Duncan. But thank you for asking. <laughs> Duncan Blanchett. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, because they have these internet radio stations that do a thing called Riedel's Wind-Up, and I thought I might have been caught out by you. Right, okay, so no, this is Duncan falling on behalf of the Hell Wolf Oh. And I believe that you've got your contact with the album as well for your wireless Yeah, that's right. Just a kind of Sorry, but you can, you can never be too careful, can you? That's right, so you can never be too careful. All right, then, so you you were happy with your surfing, yes? Definitely. Excellent. You have a splendid evening, then, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. I would say that is Mr. I won't be ever got Caddick got (laughs) 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 on the phone. You're fucking dead, Alan! (laughs) You're fucking dead, mate! Hey, hey. How many many times? Was it just a one off then, Alan? <laughs> I, was, I was kicking in my head. I thought you had me from Carbo Warehouse. <laughs> I was thinking, oh my god. <laughs> Busted. Alan, Alan you're, you're a good sport. <laughs> Cheers, Alan. Okay. Bye. Really, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hello on the phone. Baby, let's go to fever. Have you Google search? This Baba, well, Baba. Fucking packs it in there. <laughs> oh, here, yeah. see you going on singing. I'm trying to debase a point. Oh. Me? No, 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 well, what happened is a couple of weeks ago, I said, Chirk, what? Oh. Never mind all that. Fucking yeah. shit. No, no, stop it. So, impressionable minds and internet radio, right? And uh, I think it was mentioned the other week that there are auditions for non female singers in a bloody funny <laughs> band. Shut up! Oh. Wait, wait, Chris, anyone can apply. Anyway, could you broadcast a thing to tell them? Pack it in, because I don't know what you've started now, honestly, God, but they won't, I can't listen to the show, Matt, Stu. Hey, Alan, you, you haven't got a bloody bicycle. I'm not surprised you can't it's listen to it, that bloody no, racket. No more Queen, please. Please, no more Queen. We want to talk about something uh, pretty interesting. I know it's a bit late, but... No oh, more yeah, Queen, oh, yeah. please. Thank cool, you. Man. He's gone. Hey! Hello on the phone. On the phone, hello. Ringing up and... the radio. That bloody last week. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ringing up and singing on the radio. How bloody last week, apparently. Oh, right, I see. A lot of, lot of singing on the radio was there last week. There was. There was. Excellent. Hopefully none by you. They're in good voice. We did a little bit of Pink Sunshine, a little bit of melody yeah. from that. Did you, you not hear Joe's song? That was nice. Did you not even have the courtesy to listen to our unsigned artist? No, because she's signed. <laughs> Only by I her own company. I to myself. <laughs> Doesn't matter. 
<laughs> Cluster <I'm> sign. Not. <laughs> I'm not. It no, was... I didn't actually. And you make a very good point. I should go and listen to Joe. No, you shouldn't. No, it was oh, very well. good. It was the way she segued <laughs> yeah. segued from a Romanian song straight into Pink Sunshine. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. Have we got that on audio clip? Unfortunately, probably not. No. <laughs> Ellington Lodge Hotel at the Concord Club, a unique place to stay. Going on a cruise or flight? Why not take advantage of the free short-term parking we offer to residents and extend your holiday by a night or two? Ellington Lodge is situated two minutes from Southampton Airport and Parkway Station, just off the M27 at Junction 5, and a short taxi ride from the Southampton Cruise Terminals. For more information, visit our website, theconcordclub.com. Find out how your business can reach over 3.5 million clients right now by emailing sales at playradiouk.com or call 01243 556 285. Playradiouk.com. Internet radio your way. This is not the Tommy Boyd Show with Stu and Matt on Play 2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show may offend. Oh, did I? No, you didn't. Right. Are they? Uh, well, well you, you not touched the stuff in the studio. Have you tidied up the, the wires or anything like that? No. no cool. fine. Cool. Because Joe's just worried that she's going to lose her stuff. On the phone, hello. Hi, I just want to say that was the best Voidorf wind-up ever. <laughs> yes. That was funny as fuck. That was very good. That was very good. good. I think Alan, Alan, he seemed to know, first of all, that it was going on, and then he kind of seemed to forget yeah. That it was going on. And then he said, is this Alan, uh, is this Aaron Weedle? Um, and he said, no, it was Duncan. And then I think he believed that I it think, was actually a I nice think actually thing. it was almost like for two minutes, Alan, a Alan didn't have a clue what was going on. He mm. just assumed it was a genuine call. And then I think it was when, uh, when Big Boys in Boots came up that I think he sort of maybe twigged at that point in time. But, uh, you know. Well, I reckon he's asking everyone who calls him if they're Aaron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you Aaron? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Actually, maybe you're right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll have to get him again. <laughs> yeah, we will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have we got well, John? That, well, Sorry, that go guy who phoned in earlier who said he hasn't got a point. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard anyone phone me who's got a fucking point to say. <laughs> that much is true. <laughs> that much is true. You don't have true. to have a point, you just have to have some sort of substance. Well, exactly. It's, it's a random show, isn't it? So you just have to have something bizarre to say. Exactly. exactly. Leslie, exactly. we've got someone on Skype who's been waiting for a while. We've been trying to sort him out and get him onto the show. Uh, right, no, we just want to say, well done, Aaron. Brilliant. <laughs> nice Talk one. To you Thank soon, you, mate. Leslie. John on Skype. Hello. John Hammond. Hello. Oh, okay, really. dump that and answer that if you can. Okay, hello on the phone. Good evening, it's the spirit of John. 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 Bill. Bill. John, how are you? He's oh, he's gone. He's gone. Okay, so that was that one. Skype. Hello on Skype, Chris. Hello, I'm not going to shout. Hey, I'm speaking to him now. I can't. Oh, there's Joe. somebody there. Oh, it's uh, yeah, Joe, here, yeah, special. I don't Hello, know. Joe. I'll serve the media play then. Oh. Give me the phone. Hi. Hello? Hi. Is Joe there? Yes. Yeah. Can I be the Queen uh, singer? Uh, oh, you're, you can audition. It's not up to me. I've, al I've already auditioned tonight. I'll um, have to listen back to the podcast. Sorry, so, was your. Do you it. think it was good? Was your audition the bit where you called us a load of fuck pigs? Oh, yeah, I called you a load of fuck pigs, but I didn't mean it. Because oh. I, I do think you are... <laughs> I, I don't really think you're fuck pigs. I think you're even worse than that. But I wouldn't say, say it on the radio. But I, No, I don't think people are stupid. Go away. Anyway, I'm talking to Joe. You must be stupid. I'm talking to Joe. Here. Joe, what do you think of my... I thought it was really good, but they are looking. They are looking for a man, Freddie. It looks like Freddie Mercury. When can I? I've got a moustache really quickly. Look, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm going to say something. 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 I can handle it, oh, the thing. Are you going too slow? You think it's good? Yeah. It's all right, yeah, brilliant, thank you. Hello on the phone. Hello there. <laughs> Hello? I'm just phoning up, because uh, normally I like to listen to the podcast, but uh, tonight I'm working, I'm working, that's what I'm doing, I'm working. Uh, I just wanted to know if Mr. Tommy Boyd was on the show tonight. No. He's not, no. He's not, oh, hang on a minute. He's not. <laughs> Hang on there, just hang on a moment there. Hey, 
Pick up the soap. Pick up that fucking soap, <laughs> would ya? Pick the soap up. <laughs> Hang on a moment, this is gonna take about ten minutes, I'll call you back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was strange. Would you like to know the, uh, the, uh, so from Seamus? Yeah. Uh, it's an email, it says, uh, did, Urban Legends. <laughs> did you hear the one where, uh, Matt Hollick goes to the British Grand Prix and while he's there he came across Hokey Cokey Lining, uh, and gets his autograph but he gets smudged through and some little bastard, in quotes, uh, tries to nick it from a first time listener. First time listener? Isn't that the only kind? <laughs> <laughs> and from Seamus again, it says, So, how long has been Alan been taking out the arse? From a second, second time, time listener. listener. <laughs> I think Alan's been taking out the arse since birth. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it could be an urban legend if it wasn't true. <clears throat> there you go. Um, I have, oh, hang on, hello on the phone. Hello, this is Brian Blessed. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I like to climb up the top of mountains and put my big flag in the top. Onward, my winged hawkmen! <laughs> I just wanted to say there was a very vicious urban legend that I was a woman. Yes! I could not believe it. Onward, Gordon's alive! Hello, I'm Brian Blessed. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Very good. Um, got some. Um, are you going to click that? No. What? 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 What are you? Well, I'm going to click then? this, but I need it to buffer, so I need you to turn that down while. Yeah, it, yeah, that's fine. Clicking. Um, James Whale won't be on Tuesday night. Oh, is he ill? Uh, no, no, he's on holiday. He's going away. I don't know where he's going. He didn't mention, but, um, so James Whale won't be on, on, uh, Tuesday night. But n the week after, uh, he starts Mondays and Tuesdays, 8 till midnight. So a week tomorrow, he'll be on 8 till midnight and a week Tuesday. But ha hang on, Fat Steve, one second, mate, and we'll be with you. So James isn't in on Tuesday night, so I wondered what the hell I was gonna do. Who's covering? For the four shows. Tommy Boyd will be covering the show on Tuesday night. Just really? Just so you all know, yep. So Tommy Boyd. In for James Well this Tuesday on Play Raid. Get Play in there! Uh, Fat Steve, my man! Hey, do you know what song they sung at uh, Walt Disney's funeral? No. <laughs> Freeze the Jolly Good Fellow. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Well, th did, did you believe the Walt Disney thing? Um, I don't know whether I first heard it as in, you know, as an example of something which was an urban legend right. or if someone told me it was the truth. Because you'd be a lot closer to that legend being in America, wouldn't you? I wouldn't know if, uh, yes. if the whole of America thought he was cryogenically frozen or, or if they actually knew it was, was ridiculous. Uh, I don't know. I don't think people think about it that much. I suppose people in Texas thought it was true <laughs> and everyone else thought it was fake. I don't know. What can we do yeah. for you, Steve? How's your day going? How's your week going? How's the band? Oh, it's How's good. It's, it's all going excellent. Um... Just uh, wanted to uh, make that hilarious Walt Disney joke. That's very good. I hilarious like that. it was. I think that'll make the uh, best bits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Thanks a lot, guys. No worries, Steve. Take Cheers. care. Bye bye. Bye. Can I just clarify? When when did you say Tommy was in for? This Tuesday night. Eight just till just this Tuesday. Yeah, just to cover James Whale. Right. What's up? No, I was just I just couldn't remember when you said that was also. Just was this Tuesday for four, four hours. Yeah, yeah, this Tuesday from eight to midnight, four hours. I only got the text yesterday to, uh, of confirmation. So how okay. cool is that? <coughs> yes, it shall be a good laugh. Um, I, I don't know what he's he's going to be doing, but um, I presume it'll be along the lines of James Whale. But you won't be able to prevent the human zoo from getting in there. Will there like, be some human zoo? Do you think? I imagine there'll be some human zoo, Aaron. Yes, yeah. I've got a sneaky feeling there may be. <laughs> there may well be. Yes. Yes. Should be a good shot. I'm looking forward to seeing Tom again. Looking forward to working with him again. Should be nice. Should be fun. So remember that. Tuesday night, Tommy Boyd in for James Well. And then a week tomorrow, James Well will be here two nights a week, Monday and Tuesday from 8 till midnight UK time, and of course on the podcast. And Sundays? The What's best of? Best of? No, the worst of. What? Yeah, I made some stuff up to say the best of Well, then he wants me to change it to the worst of Well. Right, okay. Which is fair enough. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, uh, you, know, you know when you're doing a, putting together a best of show that's only an hour and you've got like four hours to make, you never really know if you've got the best of. Well, it depends on what you feel is the best. Yeah. If you hear something and you think, that's not actually very good, I won't put that in, then don't put it in. Uh, if you hear something you think, that's absolutely fantastic, I'll put that in because that's good. Yeah. You yeah. see? I don't listen to the bits. I think it's probably down to personal choice. Mm. I don't listen to the bits I put in.
don't you? You just recognise the beginning of the call. Hey, if it's James it. Whale, it's all good. It's all good. It's yeah. all good. It's all good. He doesn't do bad bits. No. No, is this another one of your urban legends? No, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> another <laughs> whale impression? Right, we just had an email in. It's James Whale on this Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Tommy Boyd is. Um, well, where are we up to now? <laughs> I really feel like... Ten to nine. I don't know what's going on. Have I you had a Leslie video? Have we, oh, have we got a Leslie video, Stu? It's buffered up on it's the screen up in, up front the screen in front of you. Leathery glue for the glue tube! That's a... <laughs> <laughs> well, how, do you, how does he do it? How does he, how do, does it? he do it, viewers? How does he do it? I'm looking forward to this. I'm a big fan of Leslie. Are you? Ever, ever since he made me drink his juice. <laughs> <laughs> lemon juice, lemon juice. Clean your mouth. Right, are we, are we ready for this, Stu? Dirty mind. Yeah, go for it. You, you play, it, mate. You've got the controller. Okay. What is up with you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just saying. You've got the controller. <laughs> He's busy typing. I'm not even typing. Uh, are you not? What are you doing? He's just I'm down just reading. In, He's just oh, down in the dumps. That's all. I think all right. he's, he's squatting on urban legends. Not literally squatting. Crazy group on the glue tube. Oh my. God, it's Leslie! How are you? <laughs> Let's end this fucking debate now, shall we, and deal with a few facts. <laughs> there are no believers out there, but it's been mentioned in a few books and several movies. <laughs> If it's on screen and in writing, it happened. It can't be debated. <coughs> it was the ultimate sacrifice. If not for his death, he would have been able to save everyone. Think about it in a minute, think about it, think about it, think about it. We then defied death coming back a few days later to save us all again. <coughs> But he's coming back again, he is! It's definite! May 2009, next year! And I'll never forget what he said when he died. I have been, and always shall be, your friend. Live long and prosper. God bless Mr. Spock. Space. The final frontier. Good. Very good. Very All right, good. okay, so for those people that have just podcast this and they've just heard that video but they obviously can't watch it, where can they find it? What's the address? Anybody? What? Leslie's address, so you can catch YouTube Leslie's video. Address. Right, it's, it'll be GrooTube. Mm -hmm. Is that it? John Hammond! Hello, can you hear me this time? Yay! Yay! Yes. Oh, fantastic. So I'm on the air now. You yes. are on the air. Yeah. All right, I've just got to try and get used to all this Skype business, and um, I've just got a new laptop, and um, obviously the microphone on the new laptop isn't working. All right. All right. So now I'm on my desktop. Nice. Desktop mic. That's a yeah. good start when you buy a new laptop. Can you hear me? Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we can hear you. Is this your first time listening, John? Yeah, yeah I, um, I used to listen to um, James Well on Talk Sport, and um, obviously... Now he's on this station. Yep. We tune in on a Tuesday night. Excellent. And now you're tuning in on a Sunday. Yeah, the, the, um, apparently James is going to be doing um, a Thursday night as well. Well, no, actually, John, there was a bit of confusion. Originally, yes, was going to be doing a Thursday night, but then got offered a TV job. Uh, so he took that. So it's now going to be Mondays and Tuesdays, starting a week tomorrow. All oh, right, brilliant. Oh, that's excellent. And is that is that till midnight, then? Yeah, eight till midnight. Yeah. All right, and um, I settled um, my wife and children down tonight to listen to your show and rapidly put my headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. It is a bit uh, like that, isn't it? Okay. It's a pretty cool station, pretty good um, on, on the Sunday night. You don't hear anything like this on um, uh, sort of traditional radio, do you? Certainly you don't. certainly don't. Uh, there'll be a few people behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> When you um, you get your name, not the Tommy Boyd show. What whatever did um, happen to Tommy Boyd? Where's he gone? Um, well, Tommy um, 
he was working for one company when he started working with us. Um, that company didn't really like what he was doing with us, so um, he moved to a different company with the plan that in the future working with us wouldn't be such a problem. All well, right. And now, obviously, he does the well, the breakfast show, um, and he's settling into that. So it's quite tricky for him to come here till ten o'clock on a Sunday night and then get up at four in the morning. Yeah, this is. Uh, I used to listen to it again Tommy Boyd on the old talk um, radio station. Yeah. Uh, used to enjoy that, but uh, I think I think this is definitely the way forward. We we'll certainly um, continue to listen to this. Great stuff. Keep up the good work. Thank you, John. That's very kind of you. Don't forget uh, James Wales show on Tuesday night. Tommy Boyd will be covering. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Excellent. New caller. That's a uh, new That's listener. Lovely, isn't it? Hello on the phone. I've got some news about this show, Matt. You're on Wikipedia now. Really? Not for Tommy Boy show, he's on Wikipedia. Are we on Wikipedia? Any of you, any of you responsible no, for that? Nothing to do no. with me. No, it's not me, actually. Somebody else has put it on. What's it say? <laughs> Hang on, I've got to get it up. <laughs> We've got to get it up. We've got to get it up. I'm trying. It's oh, www. Right. <laughs> Wikipedia.org You put four W's Slash Wilkie Slash not Underscore B Underscore Tommy Underscore Boyd Underscore show Or we could just search At the front page For <laughs> the Tommy Boyd God bless show you. God bless Which you. would be A hell of a lot easier Than under all those Underscores Right There you go NTTBS continue with the human zoo aspect still takes zoo calls. Matt and Stu will soon join us on the night by Joe McCafferty, Scottish singer songwriter, and a few months later by Aaron Weedle, ex Spirit FM presenter. NTTBS can still be heard on playreadyk.com Sunday nights from seven PM on Play Two. Cool. Bang tidy that one. Wow. That's nice. That is <laughs> nice. Whoever did that. Well, I don't know, but it's not me. But it was very nice of people to do that anyway. Yeah, thank you very was. much. Okay. Right, cheers, cheers Alan. Alan. Thank you. Cheers, man. Oh one two four three fifty five sixty sixty. Oh two oh eight one two three ten eighty eight. Studio at playradiouk dot com. Skype play dot radio dot uk. Watch and listen at nttbs dot com. Click watch. Or find us on <laughs> Wikipedia. Or find us on <laughs> yeah. Wikipedia. Yeah, we should get that as one of our jingles. Not the Tommy Boyd show. No, now on Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. I'll ring Craig and order it. Good so, man. Well done for your prank call tonight. Well done for getting Alan. Thank you. Yeah. Although he did suss it halfway through, mm. and all it took for me was to say, "No, my name's Duncan," and it threw him completely <laughs> off the scent again. It certainly did. It's you know? quite funny how um, the two people have now phoned with Scottish accents saying that they're Duncan. Yeah. That, hey, that's right. Duncan seems to be quite a popular Scottish name. Yeah. Do you know anyone? Well, it is. I, I know quite a few Duncans, yeah. That guy One from of Blue. English, which is a bit bizarre. Peter Duncan. Was he Scottish? Oh, I don't know. Who's that? Duncan Norvell. Pe <laughs> Peter James Duncan was the was Blue Peter presenter, wasn't he? Uh, who? Peter Duncan was the Blue Peter presenter. He was. Before that, he was in porn. Really? <gasps> that's true. That's not an urban legend. That's true. Before Peter no, Duncan. No, no, no. That's an urban legend. I don't believe it's a not word you say. Before, you can Google it. Google it. Before Peter Duncan did Blue Peter... He was in a porno. Now you see, I don't get that. How how on earth can he go from porn to Blue Peter? I mean, is that is that your route? Is that your rite of passage onto a kids' TV show these days? Do you know? Probably. Do you know what one of the things you had to do to be a Blue Pe Peter presenter was? Coke. You had to be able to no, apart <laughs> from Coke, you had to be able to interview somebody whilst bouncing on a trampoline. Can I just say that the Peter Duncan was in porn is in fact an urban legend. Oh! Thank you. Oh, Never mind. Duncan's <laughs> early career began as a stage actor, followed by two years in Laurence Olivier's National Theatre Company. His notable television roles include blah 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 blah. His film roles include blah 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 blah. Uh, big Boys in Boots. No, not Big Boys in Boots. Uh, and then he was briefly in Flash Gordon as well. Was he? Yes. Oh, yes. He was in Flash Gordon. What did he flash? In, in Flash Gordon, he was the guy. <laughs> he was the guy in Flash Gordon where they've got the bit where he has to put his hands in the tunnels. Oh yes, yes, that, yes, that's yes, 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 of course. Yes. Wasn't Brian Blessed in that? Yeah. Did yeah. he call up earlier? Yeah. He did. Yeah. Crazy guy he is, isn't he? Where do you go when all these people call up? It's I ridiculous. know. Every time, you miss ev them. Every week we get these celebrities calling up. Or, you miss them. And I'm out either having a pee or getting something from the vending machine. It's not fair. Would you like to know what he does at the moment? He's doesn't a boy he, scout. He Peter take Duncan, his family around the world and get paid to do it. No, Peter no. Duncan is the appointed ninth chief scout for the Scout Association in the UK. You sad bastard, Duncan. Dib, 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 dob, dob, you dob, sad. and all that. Help an old lady across the road, but don't do any beatboxing near her, because you'll <laughs> intimidate her. 
<laughs> uh, we'll be back with more urban legends and more crazy randomness next. Play Radio UK have teamed up with Virgin Wines to offer you a massive £20 discount off your favourite wines. Visit playradiouk.com forward slash Virgin Wines to start saving now and get your favourite wines delivered to your door. Play Radio UK and Virgin Wines for people who love their wine and a great deal. PlayRadioUK.com forward slash Virgin Wines. Find out how your business can reach over three and a half million clients right now by emailing sales at PlayRadioUK.com or call 01243 556 285. PlayRadioUK.com. Internet radio your way. Hi, Paul Anthony here. In a packed afternoon show, I'll have the Internet's favorite general knowledge quiz, the Business Brain Buster. There's Detector Disc, where I play a few seconds of an intro to a hit, and you have to work out what it is. One's at one, three big tunes. There's Midday Motown, Classic Memories, The Celebrity Wardrobe, and keeping you up to date with all aspects of news, headlines, financial, sports, and, of course, just great music. 12 till 4, Monday to Thursday, 12 till 5 on Fridays. On Play 2 UK. Broadcasting live to the UK. News, information, entertainment and the best music from the past 40 years. This is Play 2 UK. It's not the Tommy Boyd Show with Matt and Stu. Only on Play 2 UK. Beware, the content of this show may offend. There's another quick email here from Seamus, by the way, uh, who wants to know, first of all, he's the only one emailing us tonight. Um, oh, yes, yes, he is. Yes. Uh, and uh, secondly, was there, so Tuesday night, will the show be called The Tommy Boyd Show or will good, it be called Not question. The James? James Whale Show. <laughs> Good question. I actually, actually, uh, I, there. <clears throat> You've still got all the jingles for when Tommy was here, right? Um, we have, yes. So um, you'll have to just ooh, use those. No, I, well, hang on. That reminds me. It's the James Whale Radio Show, so everything will be the same apart from the boys. Those bits of production you wanted Ross to do for you? Yeah. He's done them, they're there, they're ready for you to load up. Oh, right, that's what he came in a minute ago. Did we know what they're called? Uh, I think they're just called jingles or something like that. NTTBS, I think. Okie dokie. Who's on the phone? Here he is. Yeah. Anyone got any ideas what this is? Mm. I reckon it's a wrestling tune. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, Alan, okay. behave. <laughs> On the phone, hello. Hi. 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 Right, I'm still you about that video. It's really shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, eh? I like the ending. It's... I like No, I thought it was good, good. yeah. Good. It was too long for one punchline, wasn't it? Two minutes <laughs> for that punch. It, but the thing was, I only had an hour to do it, and anyone who does videos for the show will testify. It takes three hours to fucking edit them in Movie Maker. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's my it doesn't take ages. Rubbish. But the reason I'm calling is that y you know you're on about the porno with Peter Duncan. Yes. But when I was at school, there were two twins in the village, and the urban myth had become that they had a sleepover at a guy called John Perry's house because he'd got hold of a porno starring Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> right. <laughs> but what's funny about it is around that time, I called the twins and asked, do they want to come round here and watch Benny Hill? And they said, we'll just ask ma'am. And you heard the screaming in the background. You are not watching Ben Hill. That, that, you know, that stuff's too bad for you lot. They're only about <laughs> 12 at the time. But I phoned five minutes later and said, Are they all right to come round and watch the two Ronnies? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, Yes, but we watched Ben Hill. I'm just wondering what, what they said to her about this sleepover with this blown porn movie. Mm. God, yeah. Although Benny Hill was kind of cheeky, wasn't it? Lots of ladies in bras and panties. A bit and more stuff. than cheeky, really. He should have stopped that a lot, a lot sooner than he did. I think. You know, the anti balls people as well. The, the ball people always got smacked on the head, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Shut it! Shut it! I know where this is going. No, I didn't say. No, 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 of course not. I'm bald as well. <laughs> I know you bloody are. <laughs> bald is an understatement. <laughs> Did you notice my permed wig this week? Yeah. I liked it. It was. Uh, is it new? Very nice. Yeah, it is actually. I got it off eBay. <laughs> <laughs> They're all from Hong Kong, though, and you have to wait six weeks for them to <laughs> deliver it. 
Very good. for a quid, but have you noticed the postage and packaging? 20 quid. Yeah. Well, I, I've got a question for you. Go for it. Did you purchase these uh, wigs before the character? No. <laughs> you sure? Right, you're going to laugh now, but there was a thing called eyeball chat. And me and one of my friends used to put a t-shirt, a black t-shirt over our head, stick socks up our t-shirt, pretend we were lesbians and get the real lesbians to clip off of us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then one of my friends came round, she said it was the funniest fucking thing she'd ever seen. We'd got this guy called Red Tucker on. Yeah. And, because, you know, there was four people there, so he's not gay. Yeah. And anyway, we said we'd take everything off after he did, so he took everything off. And then I put the camera on everyone, pointing and laughing. <laughs> and he said, you won't believe how often this happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend said, you can now borrow my wig and do it properly. <laughs> so that's where I got that black wig from. I like that. That's good. <laughs> we tend to be a lesbian, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leslie, uh, thank you very much for your call. Cheers, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hello on Skype. July, National Big... Oh, hello. Excuse me. Yes. Oh, hello. Yes. One of America's favorite, most healthful, and nutritious foods. I'm terribly sorry. Good lord, this is terribly embarrassing. It's a bit of a bad Skype line, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not a very good oh, Skype line. Boy, a bit rough, that one. No. Hello. 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 Okay. Are you listening to me? I don't know. I don't know if you're listening to me as a listener. Anyway. And then I don't mind. I don't mind lots of people. I like psychotic Phil. That is the psychiatrist for uh, Chris. He doesn't exist. Psychiatrist. Hello. 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 Have you buffered? Hello. Turn your media player down. Not the Tommy Boyd show. Well, Big in Japan. Hello. Am I wasting my time on this? Because I'm on it. A... <laughs> I know. Yeah. You're the one that has your headphones loud. Doing that on me. Tonight? Hello. Hello. Are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, of course I can hear you. Hello. Can I have Alan Cannon? No, not Cannon. Are you there? No, my my favourite. Good morning, good morning. My favourite people are Alan Cadden. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, of course I can hear you. I'm buffering. Are you having a good time? Are you... Sorry, yeah. sorry to be a nuisance. Oh no, that's okay. Are you there? I don't know what you were saying about. <laughs> Oh, can, hear. Voice, can you hear me? Yeah, of course you can. Is that Matt? Hello, Longtop. Can we see making any sense or not? Hello, it's me again. Fucking hell. I know it's me here, Matt. Hello. She's gone to me. She's gone, oh, I feel such a fool, having rung up and done all that. Are you there? Ring back. Hello, can you, can you hear me? And she said, well, I'd like to say... Alan Caddick is great. And that's it, and that's all you right. said. Right. He said he's Alan Caddick's great. And Big Steve, and you'd never mentioned Vic. And you never. Honestly, I'm Vic she Vic. pretends she's a fan. Right, right me again. Hey, Hello. Fan. Let me sing to you. Are you there? Oh, I'm here. Sing Hang on. Fun, so, on. Hello. No, there's people playing tricks on us again I'm now. Because <laughs> you don't make any fucking sense, do you think I'm. Sh I'm buffering. <sighs> I wonder, anyway, <clears throat> I wonder, yeah. if he actually sits down at ten o'clock out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Probably collapses. It all goes on in there, I swear he's an alcoholic. Right, Urban Legends. I reckon, I reckon we should do one of the shows live from Chris's place. I reckon you're on your own. <laughs> Tell you what, that'd be a crazy <laughs> evening. There's an Urban Legend me and Stu were discussing earlier. Oh, Read oh, out the right. forest fire one, please. Oh, the forest fire one. Mm. Okay, alright then. Let me just find it. Da, 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 da. Have, you, have you got it there, Joe? Have you got it there? Which? What have I got? What? Where? What? The, uh, the forest fire one and the, the scuba diver. The forest fire one. Yeah, it's... You've got it, have you? Um, just yes. trying to find it. 
Fire authorities in California found a corpse in a burnt out section of forest while assessing the damage done by a forest fire. Is that the one? Yeah. That's the one, yeah. Do you want me to, can you, can yes, you please, do please do. The body was dressed in a full wetsuit complete with dive tank, flippers or fins, and a face mask. Post mortem examination revealed that the diver did not die from burns but from massive internal injuries. Investigators then set about determining how a fully clad diver ended up in the middle of a forest fire. They found that on the day of the fire, the person went for a diving trip off the coast, some 20 miles away from the forest, and the firefighter, seeking to control the fire as quickly as possible, called in a fleet of helicopters with very large buckets. Hello. <laughs> okay. The buckets were dropped from the ocean, uh, into the ocean for rapid filling, then flown to the forest and emptied. The diver was scooped out of the ocean into the bucket and dropped over the fire. I'm not sure that is entirely technically correct. Right, OK. You said you'd heard this one before, Stu. See, I don't think this is alleged. I think this actually happened. You reckon this happened? Yeah. But it wasn't a whole load of buckets, though. No? It's a complete waste of energy. What about you, Stu? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was you that? Do, you would do it better than I've, that. No, I, I, no I've, I'm sure I've seen it actually on one of these that's a real thing yeah right? world's worst accidents sort of yeah. yeah 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 i'm sure it's been on one of those weirdest st strangest discoveries thing or something like that you know scuba diver scooped up whilst mm. out diving and what, then dropped on a forest fire what, what makes me slightly chuckle <clears throat> listening to that story is uh, when they say they had to do an investigation to find out how the diver got there. I <laughs> thought that was pretty bloody obvious, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I wonder know, how he ended up forest. here. Could you imagine forest it? fire, internal injuries, forest fire, diver. Could forest you imagine fire. that poor sod? The morning of the dive. Dave, come out with us. We're going for a dive offshore. No, I don't want to. I'm too scared. More eels and sharks. <laughs> come on, it'll be safe. <laughs> poor sod gets scooped up and dumped on a fire. <laughs> 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 Murray eels are really scary. What are? Uh, uh, Murray eels. Yeah. I've seen them in Egypt, in the sea, obviously. Um, and they, they start off, they just look like big fish, and then they sort of expand and swim off like this big. They're horrible. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Strange. Moving on. <coughs> they are, yes. Horrible. Mm. Aye. Um, well, some another urban legend? Teeth. This, this one that we, uh, I think we're familiar with, Paul McCartney being dead. Mm. Yeah, mm. this one, this one, <laughs> some people now, say... Now, where have I heard that before? I some wonder. say it's a conspiracy, others claim it's an urban legend. Uh, so, yeah, Paul McCartney, British rock band The Beatles, died in 1966 and was replaced by a look-alike and sound-alike. Uh, the legend hinges on clues found among The Beatles' many recordings allegedly uh, deliberately placed by The Beatles or other... Uh, or others. Hundreds of such clues have been uh, cited in various uh, various times. What do you think about that one? I mean, because that came up as a, in the conspiracy debate. <laughs> He's obviously alive, isn't he? He's alive. This so-called Paul McCartney. It's a different uh, Paul. The yeah. thing is, the thing is, is right, is that back in the six back in the sixties, when, when, when you know, we don't drug during the war. Back in the sixties, the yeah. old uh, the old um, plastic surgery just wasn't as good as no. it is today. Yeah. And if they can't, they can't. Well, they didn't say he had plastic surgery. They well, just said he actually, was a lookalike. If, if you read it up, it actually does say. If you read about it on the net, it actually does say that he was a lookalike, but they used plastic surgery to get him to look exactly alike. Why would you <coughs> and bother? Because he was paid well, millions. Well, and, and the other thing is, the point oh, of Paul no, McCartney's like death bother. to when the new Paul McCartney came about. There must have been some period of time. So, what? Where was he doing this? What was the excuse? The no, reason? there was there was hardly any time at all. Oh. So the plastic surgery literally was done in a day and it looked great after? Pretty much, that's what they claim. Ah, well, some uh, some claim that the hoax was uh, uh, set up by the Beatles uh, themselves and was uh, continued by them, either as a joke or to stimulate record sales. It was the record sales thing. Yeah. Record. The whole how, how, in 1966, was that, yeah? Yeah. So how famous were the Beatles then? Quite. Very. They started really? in 63, wasn't it? Yeah. They right, already okay. had a number of It Was, was, it was the hits. surgery that good at the time? No, that's No, and saying. exactly how many Paul McCartney look and sound alikes would you have found after they'd only been on the market for three years? Oh, shit loads oh, now. Oh, loads. Mate, <laughs> now. Got the yeah. Yeah. Bands <laughs> not, not back then. Back then, back then we, we seemed to have half a brain and people came up with original things as opposed to looking and sounding like someone else. Ah, but also, back in the 60s, there was a lot of drugs floating around, man. Back in the oh, 60s? I wish I was alive in the 60s. Uh, I really do. Uh, all that Austin Powers, Jiggery Pokery and that. Yeah, you know, free yeah. love and all free that. Lo I've got a lot of free love to Yeah. Give. How's that going, by the way? Hello, Ziggy. Hello. Hello. Oh, man, you ain't gonna believe this. I'm sitting in the kitchen, right, and they're screaming and shouting in my head. And I really did have a point to make. And no, we were, you've forgotten I, it. No, I, it's not that I've forgotten it. 
Oh, no, pack it in, man. No, you know, uh, you know this facility that uh, Tommy gave us to uh, have a chat about all this kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And we're singing there on a the fucking phone now. It might play. Doing Pack it in, but will you just. I'm a laughing Norman. Listen to this, this fucking David Bailey. Just shut up. Just shut up. I won't ashes swear. From ashes from so, anyway, you don't. You don't know, know Major, Major Tom's a junkie. Major Tom, is he there? Right, is he closing in going? the tin can? Do you reckon he went to the race? Will you shut up? Will you just shut up? You're right there, Chris. Well, how's it going? It's all right, man. Anyway, what are you doing now? You're going to wind somebody up. Are you going to do a prank call? Mate, you've Fuck missed it. Out. You are letting the side down. Here we are, celebrating one year of internet access, free sp and all you can do is bang your fucking table, your glass on the table. You're a disgraced woman. And I told them that before. <laughs> are you making some home improvements there, Chris? Aaron, you're a spiritually minded man, aren't you? Right, you've got to give me a little bit longer than I'm credit for. Now, a couple of years, well, anyway, it might have been, um Go on, mate. No, I ain't going to get boring. Anyway, I said to Tommy, the devil will dance at ten o'clock. Okay. And, uh, Mick... Well, the devil's been here ever since. Honestly, <laughs> I've got disincarnate spirits yeah. moving things around. Right. You might wonder, a few of the listeners might wonder why. Oh, I'm oh, quiet, Liz. No, that's not you. That's somebody else. But hey, she Chris. knows of the trouble I've been having. Chris, are you yes, mate. do you remember you phoned up some weeks ago uh, requesting to speak to G-Man? I can't hear him. Okay, go on. I remember ringing up a couple of weeks ago. Uh, requesting to talk to G Man. G Man? Ah, G Man? Yeah, do you I want to talk to G Man. Do you want to talk to him now? Is he on the bar? He's here, yeah. Do you want to speak on, to him? I'm going to have to tell everybody, excuse the language, to shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to the G Man! Do you know what G Man stands for? That stands for the government agents! Oh, will you shut up? All right, Chris, I'm Chris. gonna come up there and government shut down. Hey, there, Jerry, bud. I'm fine. How are you, mate? He doesn't like me. This is he's confused me. What? 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 You don't like me? I think you're. Why don't you like him, Gemma? <laughs> Never said I didn't. Fucking skinny. Chris, why don't Chris? Why don't you like Gemma? Hey? Why don't you like Gemma? I love Gemma, but you, you know go. what? Hey, I'm Matt. This is my, my suspicious nature, right? Well, a G-man used to be what they call a government man. It's not a gunman in that sense, is it? It's a government I man. I don't own a gun. It's not. And here we are on the uh, brink of a kind of radio internet freedom, second to none, in the McLuhan's kind of vision of the universe, where we can make our own mythologies. And this kid can... Catford, wherever he's from, Chief. He's turned. That's right, Catford. Where is it, Joe? Catford, South East London. It's all right, well, you were born and bred there, were you? What's that, what? Oh, you moved? No, I was lived here. Where did you move from? The no, country? No. <laughs> what? I know you're breaking up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so. No. If the geezer turns up and he calls himself the G-Man, and we think, there we are, at the forefront, and, he, you know, and all what James Whale was going on, that's a cracking show. I tell you what, you should be very... Oh, I do this with you, Rob. Producing that and getting that out on the airways. That old Alex Jones, what are you going to do for 9-11? Is Pete Crook's radio going to be turning up? Did anyone else watch the 9-11 uh, the programme about the Building 7? Did you see that, Chris? I didn't see it, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I watch a lot of that kind of stuff, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, Larry. I'd, I'd just take a look. That was very interesting. About the one where the uh, the BBC uh, said that the building fell down when you could still see the building in the background behind the presenter telling everyone that it's fallen down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they, they, I suppose they wanted to get a rap and all that. But they can distance themselves now, can't they? I suppose as the administration winds down. Well, we've got a mythology there, me and you, ain't we? 
You know that one? Yeah. Where were we on the Twin Towers? I noticed from your Facebook profile, you're born on the uh -huh. same day as Bob Dylan. I am, yeah. Is that Not right? the same year. The 80s. Oh, yeah. You still keep me. Pleased to make your acquaintance, G. Bye-bye. Pleased to make you. Bye. Thank God that's over. Jeez. G-Man, we'll be right back. What is she like, eh? Yeah, she's mad and shit. Yeah, always on for a laugh when we go on holiday. I didn't think she'd actually do it, though, did she? No way. So how much did they say the hospital bill was going to be? I don't understand the Spanish. About 15 grand. Right. Hello, Mrs. Draper, it's Stacey. It's about Vicky. She had an accident in the hotel. She should be OK, but there's going to be a big bill from the hospital. You know that car Mr. Draper was thinking about? It can be a real problem if things go wrong on holiday, and an expensive one too. So if you're going on holiday with your mates this year, make sure you know about everything you need before you go. Visit fco.gov.uk slash travel for more information. This is not the Tommy Boyd Show with Stu and Matt on Play 2 UK. Beware, the contents of this show may offend. Gee, man, you've rang up because you've got something for me. It better be good. I have indeed. I have looked up urban lens and done a bit of research for you. Thank you. Contrary to popular belief, it is not Thomas Crapper who invented the toilet. Oh, what? <clears throat> no, Crapper is known as the ingenious Victorian plumber who came up with the idea of the flushing lavatory, and that's not true. <clears throat> it was written in a book in 1969 by a guy called Wallace Rayburn. And the book was what? titled "Flushed with Pride: The Story of Thomas Crapper." What? And he also wrote the he also wrote the tale of the, the uplifting tale of Otto Titzlinger, the development of the bra. <laughs> uh, Crapper was actually <laughs> Crapper was actually just a plumber, uh, and he did take a lot of he did take a lot of patents in plumbing, but he uh, he didn't invent the flush toilet. It was invented by a guy called Alexander Cummings. Ooh. Um, uh, well, um, that's a shame because at my uh, parents' house they have a, uh, a picture, a framed picture, and it's uh, an official declaration of Thomas Crapper's invention, the flush toilet. Yeah. So it's not true. No. No. Even your, your parents have a, a lie in their, uh, their house. Oh my god, and as devout Christians they just will not stand for it. How old they? Well, funny enough, tying into maybe they won't want to do what the next one. The lemmings do not throw themselves off cliffs. Oh, well, we've already had this one. Have you had that one? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, Apparently as well, uh, you remember a couple of years ago, people filled in their census to say that they were part of a religion called the Jedi. Called what? Called the Jedi, you know, the yeah, Jedi yeah, Knights, yeah, the Star yeah, Wars yeah, thing. Yeah. Apparently yeah. that's false as well, because apparently you get a £10,000 fine for lying on your full, on your census results. You do, they, they are, yeah, yeah, you do. They're, they're so, not, yeah. so that again is, uh, is, a, is an absolute myth. Oh, but I thought Jedi was actually a religion. No, well, it, it can be, but uh, you, you can't put it down on your census, otherwise you will receive the fine. Right. Now, I always thought that if you wanted to be, if you joined the, the Jedi religion, you'd just be disappointed. What? What? Hey. Why would you be disappointed? Well, because the nature of a Jedi is someone who can control minds and move things and fight well, and um, you join the Jedi religion, you don't get any of the perks, as far as I'm concerned. Well... But come on, a lot of organised religion is about that. Well, I don't, people, I don't know. Christians <laughs> pray and heal people. But to be fair, come on, if you if you join the one that what's the one that Tom Cruise is, Tom Cruise is in the, Scientology. Um, Scientology. The, the Scientology. Aren't you going to be slightly disappointed? If space aliens don't come down and take you up. Uh, well, no, because if you join Scientology, you're stupid enough and you believe it enough already. So I don't think it makes a difference. <laughs> It's like all those people that go around pretending they're Klingons or, uh, mm -hmm. or, or Jedi or anything like that, you know, mm -hmm. it's just some crazy thing. It's very sad, isn't it? Was that good enough for you, man? Was I'll that good what, enough mate, for you? That was perfect. Was that, was that better? I'll try each week now, from now on, I promise, each week to bring quality, nothing but quality, to this radio show. Thank you very much. G-Man, a pleasure for your input, as always. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We've got somebody on the phone, hello? Hello. Who's this there? Hello there. I'm uh, I'm trying to get over to Chris, man. Hello. Hello. Is that uh, is that Chris's uh, I'm brother? Try, I'm trying to get over to Chris, man. Hang on a minute. Sharon, turn that media player down, will you? I, don't, I can't fucking hear him here, man. Hello. 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 Who's this? It's Matt. I'm trying to get over to Chris, man. Who's this? Yeah, bro, it's Ozzy. How you doing, man? Oh, Ozzy, I'm all right, mate. Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, is he there, man? No, no, he's gone. Oh, fuck's sake, man. I'm trying to get over him each time I come. He's not fucking there, is he? Yeah. No, he's not there, man. He's fucking... Oh, turn the fucking...
media player down, will you? Fuck's <laughs> sake, man. Sorry, hang on. For fuck's sake. He's not there then, no. No, he's gone. Alright then, he owes me a beer, man. Oh, really? He owes me a beer, man. I can't fuck it. I thought, you, I thought you were a recovering alcoholic. You are? Eh? Eh? Yeah. Hello? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm fucking buffering here, man. <laughs> can, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Ozzy. Uh, Thank are you. you there? Yeah. yeah. Hello? Cheers. Bye. <laughs> okay, on Skype we have... <laughs> Dewey Drops? Dewey Drops. Hello? Wow, that was an anti-climax. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, called drops, they've gone right. <sighs> that one must have just gone... Phew. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I'm so... Oh, jeez. Uh, hello on the phone? I've got to grind my gears. You know what really grinds my gears? Louis Chris, ring it up time after time after time. There you go, boy. But then he's just saying, hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, just give it up, Chris. Net people is what grinds my gears. Thank you very much, Alan. Hello on the phone. Hey, hello. Hello? Hey, 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 I've got attention deficit disorder, you know. They're doing the brummies, you know, a bad service, boy. Have I got the right number? Sorry. Strange. Yes. Tired. I'm not used to this. No. Got a week off. Oh, didn't. It was weird. I tell you, it was weird, you know. Even though I was at an event and stuff, it was weird, actually, not. This is the first one time I've not been here. Yeah. Ever. Well, well apart from the first, first one. Sh- yeah, first. Was it three that I Two. missed? Two. Something like that. Aye. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, it was kind of strange. Um, didn't know, you know, I wanted, I wanted to call. Every time I hung up, I wanted to call back. Yeah. Oh, love she it. had the same thing. Yeah. That's why yeah. I was calling from Jersey. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah. It's very weird. Mm. On the phone. A good evening, it's the, uh, <laughs> spirit of John. Here. I just wanted to uh, lay a few myths to rest, if I may. Go on, then. The uh, Paul McCartney from 1966 is uh, very much true. He is here with me in the uh, the other realms, believe me, and uh, I wish he wasn't. Some of his new songs are absolute shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say it. I just wanted to clear that up, you know. Same as I wanted to clear up uh, that mess <laughs> back with Ozzy Osbourne. I think it was back in the seventies. <laughs> I said to him, Ozzy, I said, if you bite the head off that bat, it's going to give you a terrible stomach upset. It was a bit of advice that he ignored, and he was up all night puking, and he <laughs> had to go for a, a tetanus shot. But well, there you go. Uh, I just... Sorry, what? All right, no, sorry. Mike Dickens here. He just wants me to come back. We're on an advert break. I do apologise. I'll have to quickly jump back. Talk to you okay. later. Cheers, guys. Talk to you soon. <clears throat> it's the marriage wrecker on Skype. Good evening, Matthew. Good evening, Peter. I'm afraid I'm not calling for comedy this evening. Oh, dear. I would dear. like to talk about a topical, serious issue. Oh, really? That of Mr. Uh, Dwayne Chambers. Now, there's a question. Right. Is he allowed back or not? Is that what you're going to ask? Sorry, chap. Is that still your thunder there, mate? Well, we thought about these ex-athletes coming out, you know, who were long retired. Oh, he shouldn't be allowed to compete in the Olympics. And whatever happened to the, you know, giving someone a second chance? And sure. Before you, before you interrupt, uh, uh, BBC have been showing the 3A Championships over the last few days. And Jonathan Edwards, the you know champion triple jumper who won loads you know world records, Olympic gold, whatever, um, he's a Christian and he chose not to speak about uh, Dwayne Chambers at all. He didn't give an opinion of it because okay. obviously being a Christian, his line would be you know you have to forgive people's sins and yeah, not. sure. I got a bone pick with you. I think he's already picked a big enough bone with you, mate. <laughs> it's not that big. 
Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on the side of giving him a second chance. Let's face it, we don't yeah, have much, we don't have much luck in athletics or anything like that anymore anyway in this country. We don't win anything, so if we've got a chance of doing it, let the guy back in. Yeah. The Americans do it, why can't we? If he's good enough, he should go. Absolutely. Well, he ran ten seconds flat yesterday, and in some Olympic games, that could get him at least a bronze. Now, it, the mm. other the other thing, of course, is the other argument towards it is that although he's now, you know, clean of drugs and what have you, this, that, and the other, the the arguments are that uh, once you've used steroids to build up a muscle, you might not use steroids yeah, again, yeah. but your muscle is already now enlarged and capable of more than it used to be for the rest of your life. And so, is he not still being influenced in some way? Because he is still running as fast now as what he was when he was supposedly on whatever. That's exactly it. Have, that's you, have you seen what happens to people when they stop taking steroids? No. They become very fat and very ugly and very ill and very loose around the skin. Stuff is that like, like Aaron? It's like Aaron was on steroids once. Then. Yeah. No, no, no. What it is with Aaron is that, <laughs> off you. Is, is that Aaron's on to his second chunky Yorkie of the evening. I wasn't moving properly all day. Oh, I didn't. Seriously. Right, the, the point of that statement is that whether he's on steroids or not, if he'd have just stopped and not continued training and keeping himself in peak physical fitness, he wouldn't be able to do it. The point is, he's, he stopped, he continued training, so I don't think the steroids made a permanent effect on his muscles, in my opinion, and I'm not a doctor or a scientist, so no, I couldn't give no. you the medical view, but in my opinion, I think he put a lot of bloody hard work into it during the two years he was banned for, or three years he was, whatever, however long it was, and I think he put a lot of hard work into it, saying, all right, I've done this, I've messed up, I've made an idiot out of myself, a lot of people said a lot of things about me, but I'm going to come back and show them. But the media are loving it, and they're just doing like, it, you know, they're just, uh, they just want to speak to former athletes who are against Chambers just so that it makes juicy reading in the paper. Oh, of course they sell, do. Because if isn't they, they have just chose all athletes who were pro Chambers, it would, it would be quite boring to read. Oh, I support Joanne Chambers. Oh, yes, let's him in the Olympics. That's not fun. Well, you want to hear ex athletes slagging him off. Yeah, that's exactly. Fine. Exactly. Well, that's, but, that's, that's the media for you in this country, isn't it? So. Come, come the Olympics, regardless if you like him or not, if, if he's like in the 100-metre final, you're not going to think, oh, I don't want this British person to get a medal. No. Mm. No, and if he comes back with a gold, I'd like to see <laughs> Kelly Holmes, see what she says about that. Yes. Because she's anyway, been very Aaron, vocal. Anyway, you want to pick with me? Well, not much really, but I would like to mention something. Um, you know, after your video last week, his wife's got a disease, she's been no. the No, 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 it's far worse than that. Listen to this, right? After the Chappers video was played last week, Sarah started getting Skype messages from Alan Caddick. What? First of all, they started saying, Sarah, how could you? Right? Then they started saying, can I join in next time? <laughs> Alan Caddick well, he... wants to have a three-way with Chappers and my wife. Well, he's after revenge now, isn't he? So perhaps Although, it can be arranged. I'm not Alan, sure. I know Aaron's address. I know his wife's phone number. I'm not. I'm not sure whose bottom he's after more. My wife's or yours, Chappers? Chappers. I mean, I'm, I won't go into this too much on air, but I, I hear you may have um, a, a love interest. No, that's completely false. Oh, okay. Didn't I thought so? To be honest with you. It's <laughs> a vicious rumour. Well, so yeah, no, I do have a love interest. Yeah, Aaron's wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what was it like losing your virginity? Very pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Happy Trees come up with a good idea, Chapman. He says they should bring in compulsory drug testing for every single participant, and if you fail, you get chucked out for a couple of years, then they can try again and get tested again as a matter of course each time they go to any championship. Yep. What I want to know is why do they do it random? Why doesn't Ed and everybody check at the beginning of each competition? Well, it's like you're not going to check the bloke that comes last, are you? No point. He's come last, he hasn't gained anything. No, he, was, he, was on, he was on marijuana. Exactly. He was still in the burger bar. So, they just check the guys that have run really, really <laughs> fast, they finish first. Oh, oh, what's this, what? We give it. Alan says he's after Sarah's. <laughs> I just noticed the name of the Skype caller. Matthew comes a lot. <laughs> um, right, okay. Hello on the phone. That's about me. Oh, no, sorry. Hello. Uh, 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 it's Ozzy Osbourne again. Uh, <laughs> I, I just wanted to say this. My turn. Hello on the phone. Well, I'm too 
two points to make. Oh, the oh. Uh, Dream Chambers. Oh, all we need oh, is Aaron's wife. All you. we need is Aaron's wife, and we've got the threesome. Hello, Mr. Cabot. No, first things first, Dream Chambers. Mr. Allen. Go on. I don't think he was right to be banned. I don't think he should go to be a living. He used a drug, he should be punished for it. And the IRC will want to give him a lifetime ban. Regardless of whether he won this weekend in Birmingham, he's still banned, and there's no way the High Court could overturn it. Right, so what would you say to all these young children who get involved in drugs and maybe mess their life up a bit? Don't uh, do it! We obviously you'd say don't do it, but what if they're trying to make amends? What if they're seeing this... Uh, this whole thing is, you know, Dwayne Chambers could be actually a bit more of an out, out, you know, an outside role model in the fact that yes, he's done these things, but he's stopped them now and he's kept in his fitness and now he's coming back um, and he wants another shot at it. That's that's good, yeah, surely. Why can't the IOC see that? Oh, sorry, I must have mistook your argument, Alan. Why can't the IOC see that, Matt? I thought you wanted him to have a lifetime ban. Yeah, but the, that's what the IOC wants. Right. But Chambers is at the High Court trying to overturn it, and I'm disagreeing with that. Right, I see. Anyway, Mr. Riedel, I'm after your sailor's ass, not Chappers. Oh, right, okay, fair enough. Because I want revenge from what you got me. Right, okay. Revenge! <laughs> Yeah, that, that works. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much, Alan. Um, I hope I, you know. Well, I don't hope you get your revenge. No. He he wants revenge with a capital W. Are you, <laughs> revenge? Are you still there, Chappers? No. No. He's okay. gone. Do you want some more urban legends, by the way? Matthew comes a lot here. Hello. Mary loves Dick. Mary loves Dick. Oh, hello. Mary loves Dick. Between a boy and man She was 17 And she was far from in between It was summertime And Northern Yeah, <coughs> very odd Thanks. Anyway yeah. oh. Did Chappers cut himself off? Or? I yeah, I believe so right. Okay I didn't do that by mistake or anything. No, I think the fact that you kind of just went off at a tangent, just he thought it was the end of the call and that was it. Oh, yeah. oh fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, good. Excellent. Did G-Man call up with some urban legends? Yes. He did, yeah, he called in with the Lemmings one. Um, yeah, we've had that. Yeah, we've had that already. Did he mention the one that you accidentally swallow about eight spiders uh, in a year in your sleep? He didn't. That's all bull as well. Yes, it is. Of That's it. absolute nonsense, completely made up. Uh, back in 1993, a columnist for PC Professional named Lisa Holst decided to prove that you could make up anything on the internet and people would believe it. And they did. And they did! I believed it for a, for a spell. I, be I believed it. <clears throat> yeah. I believed all your... I, I used to wake stuff. up in the morning thinking, oh, I don't feel like breakfast this morning. Must have had a big spider last night. <laughs> 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 I'm really paranoid about spiders crawling in my ears when I'm yeah. sleeping. I actually used to sleep with my hands over my ears in case they did. But obviously you fall asleep and you stop holding your ears, so it didn't really work. <laughs> but there was a man who did have a spider in his ear, and he had a sore ear, and he went to the doctor, and they looked in, and it had spider babies were, oh, were in his ear. Nice. And it was real, because it was in the sun, so it must Excellent. be true. Bumped into, uh, I bumped into an old friend of mine last night. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, what you been up what you been doing? What you been up to? You know, he said. Well, last night he said I was uh, conducting an orchestra. I said, were you? He said, yeah. He said it was more fun than you could shake a stick at. <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> very good. <laughs> Stu's hardly said anything tonight. I'm all right. What? You hardly said anything. You've been sat there chatting Sorry, away on your computer. Sorry. No, I've been sitting here listening and interjecting when necessary. Okay. Men think about sex every seven seconds. That's, That's an overreaction. Five seconds, isn't it? Because you'd never get anything done. That's exactly <laughs> true. <laughs> if men never thought about do sex, anything, so it must be true. If men thought about sex every seven seconds, it would be hard to get anything done. Experts estimate that thirty percent of men don't think about sex during the day at all. Mm. I try and think about it at every point during the day. Yep. Is that so? You have some sort of semi on as you're walking past the girls here on the phones. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, of course not. No, no, I don't like where this not. conversation's going. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. um, the fact that you've got to wait 30 minutes before eating, uh, uh, 30 minutes after eating before going for a swim. 
Mm. Now, now. Well, you don't get cramp. No, you don't. But you might puke. <laughs> Depends on how you know, violent I thought swim. that one was true purely and simply because I actually have been ill due to yep. the fact of going swimming immediately after having a large dinner. Mm. No, it's rubbish uh, because uh, basically the amount of oxygen, it was all based on oxygen and the amount of oxygen your body needs to digest food is apparently the same amount as the oxygen your muscles need to go for a swim. It's all gibberish. You will always generate enough muscle oxygen for swimming as well as digesting food. So you don't have to have one or the other. You can have both. Mm. And you won't get cramp. Got to say, swimming after food isn't really swimming. Though. No, but uh, you say that to the people on the Titanic. <laughs> it's going down, but it's all... Hang on a minute. No, yeah. you've, just, you've just had your supper. The don't do cramp. anything. <laughs> Missed anything? Hello, my name's John Archer. Hi, this is Stephen Allen. Hi, I'm Laura Critchley. Hello there, this is Sean Williamson. Hello, you're listening to Stephen Grant here with Richard Hershey. Hello, this is Steve Brody, and if you're listening to this now, then you've you've missed me. Hi, this is Tim Vine. You missed me on Hershey's Half Hour, but you can hear me again on the podcast. Uh, joined in the studio by the Tunics. With the legendary David Coverdale of Whitesnake. Good evening. Good evening. Out from Animals, welcome to Play Radio. I'm over stuntman. Helen Balding. Hi, this is Sky Gore from Thin Lizzy. James Well Radio Show live on Play Radio UK. Uh, so here we go. Nice to have you with us. If you want to join me, you know the number to ring. Right. Uh, well, we've had loads of emails. Thank you for those as well. Welcome to the show. It's just gone seven Sundays, not the Tommy Boyd Show. Good evening. This is the spirit of John Bale. Hello, Hello, this is Chris Tarrant. If you're hearing this now, you've missed me. But don't worry. You can listen again at playradiouk.com slash podcast. Playradiouk.com forward slash podcast. Playradiouk dot com slash podcast playradiouk.com slash podcast missed anything then go to playradiouk.com slash podcast for perfect personalized cards for any occasion delivered through the letterbox go to playradiouk.com forward slash moonpig it's not the tommy boyd show with matt and stew only on play 2 uk beware the contents of this show may offend what the time was i knew what the time was I was just wondering whether you were looking at what the time was. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. yeah! Yeah! Oh my god! Yeah! Did wow! Not the Tommy Boyd Show. Deadlines. Have we got any? 40 minutes late. Oh, I decided I couldn't be arsed. No, here we are. <laughs> Joe jo must have thought you were ignoring her. Poor, no, poor girl. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, I've been away. No she's one been, reminded she's me. Been all, she's been all, she's Listen, he's been away for one week. It, 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 honestly, literally, I got back Didn't you life. devise it, though? What? Yeah, the fact no. that nine o'clock was going to be yeah. deadlines. Because I said nine thirty, and he said no, no, nine o'clock. So it's your it's idea, not, and you forgot it. Oh, I, I forgot that too. One no. week away, and he forgets the format. I know. Anyway, honestly, stolen car returned after fourteen years. What? A couple have been given back their VW Golf car fourteen years after it was stolen. Oh, Milos and Spomenka Jokic <laughs> from Setic in eastern Bosnia and Herzegovina. 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 Who cares? Yeah. Some hang places, on, some hang places on, hang on, hang on. David, what is it? Bosnia what? Herzegovina. 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 There you go. Had their Mark, II, <laughs> their Mark II golf stolen after they parked it on a street in Belgrade during a holiday in 1994. They returned a few hours later to find it gone. And uh, But we were surprised when a policeman knocked on the door this week and told them they had found their car. How exciting is that? It's where was it? Really at all. Yeah, where was it? It? it was in the car park, they left it. <laughs> Me and my husband thought it was a joke at first, but the police told us they had stopped a driver during a routine roadside check and realised it was stolen and traced it back through old records to us. It had been stolen a few times since we'd had it taken from us and they can't say if the mileage on the clock is accurate as it possibly had been turned back a few times. It still drives well and my husband feel, says it feels as good as it did 14 years ago. What about the car? Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the insurance company that had already paid out compensation say they don't want the car as it's not worth anything now. Oh. It's kind of a non-story now. It started by kind of had it's interesting. Mm. It's quite interesting. <laughs> uh, Davey's on Skype. Hello. It's uh, Victor at the moment. Sorry, Hello, Victor. Victor. Sorry, I yeah. read the wrong thing. Oh, they look the same. They look similar. Yes, we look very similar, but when the corners of the mouth... You've mm. got a very bad Skype line, Victor. It's because... 
It's because of your video, mate. If you uh, if you cut the video, Matt, that saves the bandwidth. The so you go menu. Give me a sec. I, I, I do this stop my video thing, there okay? There That's it. Give it that Is okay. it stopping? There we go. Let's try Can you keep it? Hello? Ah, uh, chin dobre. Chin do No, it's still not working, Victor. Bit of a problem. That it... Yeah, something mm. wrong with it. Yeah, it's a bit off. He's got yeah. hello. Yeah, something, something wrong with that. Um, Sorry, Victor, it's uh, it's a bit arsed, I think, is the word. So it took the police how long to finally do their job? 14 years. Wow. It's a pretty good go. Mm -hmm. It's about average for the Met. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I'm surprised the insurance company didn't turn around and say, right, we want our money back. Can I make a controversial statement about the recent spate of stabbings, especially that yeah, kitty yeah. that was, uh, I don't know if I said this a couple of weeks ago, I don't want to sound uncaring, but this is con rather controversial. Mm -hmm. So the kitty that was stabbed, that's the, uh, s the s brother of the... Brock. Yeah, that's a yeah Kinsella bloke. Yeah, Brock Kinsella. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but at 16 you're not actually old enough to go into a bar. No, no. Well, you're not supposed to be drinking in a bar. Is no, that, you're not supposed is that to be drinking. So now, whilst I appreciate that it's a very sad event and all this, that, and the other, what's completely not to be mentioned in the press is that her sister, his sister's come out and said, you know, oh, we should, we should always know. Parents should know where their kids are and all this, that, and the other. We'll, we'll, we'll hang on a minute. He's 16, he's in a bar in the middle of London at midnight. Drinking. Drinking. Now... Is he drinking? Well, by the by, he still shouldn't have been in a bar in central London in at the middle midnight. of the week at 16 years old. Sure, there's a curfew. You know, now, if she's like, going to lecture... If she's going to lecture parents on how to parent their kids, then surely there should be sort of like a little bit of a sort of, you know, a bit of... She yeah. should be making sure that maybe her kid isn't in a pub, but well, I think it's too late now. Well, I know, but I'm saying, isn't it? You know, the bit that's not being the bit that's not being mentioned in the press. Whilst it's a very harsh event, and if, if I feel very si sorry if, for if them. If a sixteen-year-old hadn't been in that bar, it wouldn't have happened. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Yes, it's terrible. So it might have just been an eighteen-year-old instead. Might have been somebody else. <laughs> Exactly. Well, someone had the knife anyway, whether he was 16 or not. Yes, what I'm saying, but what I'm but saying yeah, is, is that, you, you know, he was 16 hanging out in a bar in the middle of London, uh, on sure, a, there, there is, a, there must, there's something's changed, because when I was 15, mm. and you might all think, oh, my parents are shit, I used to sneak out and do gigs in jazz bars, and, and you know, uh, that's not a return, they actually played traditional jazz music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before you go all weird on me. <laughs> um, and rock bars, and I, I didn't actually drink, but I was out there playing guitar and singing and hanging around with bikers and Can stuff I? like that. I never, ever got stabbed. No. I never saw a knife. No. You know, so there, is, there has been a change. Just, just, just making a quick point, actually, in fact, I'm about to say something you're never, ever probably going to hear from me again, and you've never heard from me before. Everybody stick, stick your recorders on now. I actually agree with Headless. What does he say? <gasps> he says... Brooke Kinsella, his sister, said that now it's truly time to do something. So, and, and as Hedler says, wasn't it time to do something when the other killings happened, or did she just not care before it, it happened to her? Well, it's like that Harry Potter right. actor, wasn't it? Like, all over the front pages, the yeah. death of a Harry Potter actor. Yeah, yeah. The, the fact that he said about two words in about ten seconds, yeah. um, you know, was, was just sort of glossed just over. Just my take on it. That was all. I just, uh, I just, I, I read it. I hear about it every day and what have you. And uh, I, I just, I don't know. I'm just. Headless you've got, it, got a point. Whilst, uh, whilst I appreciate it's a bad thing, and yes, the parents should take note and everything. You know, they're they're trying to preach to the world about how to bring up kids and what kids shouldn't do, and yet their kid was in a bar at midnight. Uh, you know, cool. at 16 years old. We got mm. somebody on Skype. Hello, Victor. No, they hang up. Oh, they hung up. On the go. phone instead, hello? I, I can hear you, I can hear you. Hello? Hello? Hey! It's Richard uh, Christopher from West Wickham via Tenerife. Yes, that's it. <laughs> hello? <laughs> How, how's the reef today? Uh, Boring. It's what? Boring? Yeah, Sunday. Nobody does anything on a Sunday. Oh, is it a bit shit, is it? Didn't I say to you a few weeks ago, well, a couple of months ago, that if you went to Tenerife... It was really, really boring, yes. You're right. I hate to admit it, Matt. Let the whole world know. That's only because you're on the wrong side of the island. Huh? That's only because you're on the wrong side of the island. Oh, yeah, I'm in the north, yeah. That's right. No, it's nice in the north. Have you got nice geology up there? You could go and collect me some rocks. Third, third tallest mountain in the world. No, sorry, third tallest volcano in the world. Ooh, I've been in that. Mm, like volcanoes. Does it have a gift shop? <laughs> <laughs> Got a hotel. Can, you, can you listen to the show out there, Christopher? No, because uh, my granny will only pay for dial-up because she's a bit tight, so... 
Oh, bless her. And, well, and it costs a lot of should, money. We should do it? some beatboxing, actually. 50 kilobytes a second or something ridiculous. <laughs> nice, nice. Terrorizer. Nice. Well, you can, you can, get, on, you can get on the old uh, 24K stream if you wanted to. Oh, is there one? I didn't know that. There is, yes, yes. Uh, if, you, if, you, uh, uh, if you drop me a message on Facebook this week, I'll tell you where to get it. Oh, right. Thanks, Ash, Yeah. Anyway, do you know what really grinds my gears? Oh, 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 hang on. You know what really grinds my gears? Uh, when a friend says, oh, can I borrow your phone for a really quick phone call to my mum and dad? You say yeah, and they bugger off for half an hour. And that, people, is what grinds my gears. That's, that's, that's taking the mic a little bit, especially, was it international? Yeah. Right, that's ridiculous. Did they pay? Sorry? Did they pay? No. Oh, that's, that's, that's outrageous. Well, listen to that lovely wind. Are you in a hurricane or something? What? I think the volcano's just exploded behind him. Oh dear, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I love the reaction, oh dear. Oops. <laughs> oh dear, terrible volcano lava area. Did, 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 did the volcano just, uh, just sort of, just sort of, uh, Erupt? No, Erupt? just a little wind, yeah. Mm. It was a little, sorry, well, that's what's caused by the beer, isn't it? <laughs> G-Man's not near you, talking away, is he? Yeah, yeah, you haven't got G-Man over there as well, have you? Uh, no. Ah, oh, right, what? okay. Uh, Matt, Matt was making... Just a load of hot air, you know? Matt was making a joke. Funny enough, I can actually pick up, um, Virgin Radio through my Skybox. Yeah, you can. Th Skybox. That's right, yeah, 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 so... <laughs> Isn't that a shame? What on earth would I want that for? Exactly. Well, what you want to, well, you know, what you want to do is campaign to have us on Sky. That's what it is. But you know, that would be nice. Do you, do you yeah. know how much it is? Yeah. It's like n no. ninety grand a year. It's twenty. Well, it's twenty-five grand for the channel. Then it's then it's another ten grand for the listing on the EPG, and then the carriage fee is about fifty grand. What? Yeah. yeah. To have your radio station on Sky. It's, it's ninety grand just to get on DAB. What? I know they don't make it easy, mate. <sighs> Put it on the internet. Christopher so from West be, Wickham. Sure you'd have to be censored if you did that. Uh, we would, oh, yes, that's, that's right. Yes, we would this have is to... very true. We would become Ofcom regulated. We don't want that. <laughs> what would we talk about then? Um, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Christopher, I've got a question. Uh-oh. Yeah, go on. Yeah, this person that borrowed your phone, uh, were they female? Uh, no. Oh, all right. I, no, I hate women now. I just said no, then. I wouldn't have given it to him. I'd have said, son off. Huh? I say I wouldn't hello? have given... Hello? Oh, okay. you, can you hear me? Hello? Don't, don't you just hello? love those bloody mountains with all the, uh, all the getting in the way of the frequencies at all? That, it's a nightmare, isn't it? All the bloody time. Cheers, well, Christopher, I'm going to save you some money on your phone, mate, because we've got a lot to crack on with and there's only nine minutes left. Yes. Good to hear from have you, mate. One. Take care. Okay, Ta-ra! Uh, Victor. Hello. Hello. I, I hope I, you can hear me better now, although I must say it Make sounds like you're at the end of a very long corridor. I got two urban myths for you. Uh -huh. One of them is about the water, because I, I, one particular big beef of mine is the, the way people sometimes say that fizzy water is not good for you, and you should drink still water. I think this is urban myth. Is it? Hello? I didn't know. I didn't well, know. No, it's, fizzy. it's because of the carbon in the water when it's fizzy, isn't it? Oh, is that what it is? I didn't know. Didn't know it was bad for you in the first place. To be honest with you. Well, the gas well uh, that's what some people. Uh, I keep on hearing people saying, "Oh, you should. If you're losing weight, you should drink um, flat water, not the fizzy water." But it's, uh, you know, I can't see a single piece of evidence to say that the fizzy water is bad. And I like it, so that I can't drink the still water because it's like a boring. I certainly don't want to pay for it because it's what come out of the tap. I just filter it and drink it if I want straight water. Why should I pay for it? Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. So if I'm paying for water, I want the, I want the, um, I want the, the fizzy water. I don't want the flat water if I'm paying the money, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's one of the things yeah, yeah. I wanted to say. Isn't, uh... Urban but I also got another urban myth from my recent visit to your country. Right. Because I noticed, I didn't see this, but from what I can hear people saying, people are making uh, furniture for their, you know, soft furnishings for their rooms from meat. And I think it's an urban myth to do this. Meat? Yes, from meat, from animal, animal products, from, from, from meat. They are making uh, furnishings in their, you know, soft furnishings, especially window dressings. There, I heard somebody talking about beef curtains. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now this is not a good idea. No, no. it's not. It's not very, very good. They will, they will rot in go due time. Even when you've cured the beef, you know, even when you've got it nice and dry, like this Schwarzwälder Schinkens and what have you, what the Germans are making, yeah. you can't put it in the sunlight. It will be sweating out the grease and it will start to stink. So I, I don't want stinky beef curtains. <laughs> <Aye>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, yeah. Victor, very good urban legends. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got a few more calls coming in. I'm just gonna don't go anywhere, Victor. I'm just gonna say hello Thank on the you. phone. Right. They've gone. Oh, cheers, Victor. Cheers. Oh, I told not to go anywhere. Hello on the phone. Lost him. Really? Fire breathing. Wait on a minute. Fire breathing. We can't have any fire breathing. Next thing they give me yoga. Do you think you'll notice if you just fade him down and leave him there? I don't think you might. All right, um, we got five minutes left. Mm. Have we become? Hey! Have we got any closer to this guerrilla marketing campaign? No. Um, talent I show. Uh, no. And all oh, right. I had a, had a, uh, uh, hello, uh, hello on the phone. Hi there, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, this the stabbing thing. Yeah. That you were talking about, the series talking about. I've got quite a, a, an insightful point on that. Go for it. Be, be serious. I actually think that this is going to escalate. Well, and either an MP's son or daughter gets stabbed. So this is, I'm not trying to have a joke, I'm just being serious. I don't think they're going to do anything until it starts affecting them. Absolutely not. Yeah. That's exactly what you... That, you know, it, that's G-Man, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah, um, yeah that's exactly right. That's exactly what's going to happen. Until somebody high up that, yep. that, that deals with the government, it, it gets done, and then they'll do something about it. And quite frankly, I mean, it, 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 they, should, they should just bring back national service. I don't care what anybody says about it. If you get caught with a knife, throw them in the fucking army for four years and send them over to Iraq, and then we'll see how much of a pussy they come back carrying a knife then. I don't yeah. necessarily agree with that, because I don't think people who commit knife crimes would necessarily be trained to give them guns. I know that obviously there's a lot more than that on national service. I know there's a lot more, but I don't necessarily agree that national service is the answer. No, but sure. But, but, I, I, but I agree that something has to be done. But, um, either if they have to stick to prison sentencing, well, not then, two well, years when they say it's five, not six months when they say it's a year, well, yes. or another form of punishment. But well, I don't well, how necessarily about, agree with Well, how about then, instead of national service, at least then army training boot camps where they learn to be a bit, yeah. they learn some respect without actually having the gun. I, I, I agree with that. The reason I don't like national service is I don't necessarily think the army should just be given the crap of the world. Well, that much is true, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I think? Though, but but yeah. I do agree that there should be some form of str stronger punishment for anybody caught with a knife. Do you know what Absolute, I, do you yeah, know what I'm I think? I'm with you the whole way, yeah. Go do you on. know what I think? I think that anybody who stabs and kills somebody should be taken to hospital, rigged up to an intravenous strip and a life support machine, and then stabbed in exactly the same way and the same amount of times as they did to that person, see how they like it. And then they can recover from it all and have all the problems to deal with after. Two wrongs don't make a right, though. That much is true. I don't well, agree with the point, Matt, but I agree with the, with the emotion of the, the point sentiment. that you're making, that, yeah. that those people should be felt to suffer the same way their victims have. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Gee, man, we've got a lot to move on with. Great call, though. That's Thank pleasure. you very much. Cheers, okay, buddy. Uh, hello on the phone. This is for all the ladies out there. All we are saying... Is give Matt a chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello on the phone. Hello. Good evening. And goodbye. On the phone, hello. Bogey! <laughs> Is that bogeys? Hmm. <laughs> Let's give Alan ten out of ten for originality. Who? Who could that have been? Yeah. <laughs> Who was that mystery caller? That's, <laughs> that's on a postcard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sighs> uh, hang on a minute. On the phone? Hello? Hello? Do you know what I think? What do you think? I think you shouldn't go home. I think you should hang about till 11 o'clock. Do you think so? Here. I think we should yeah, go home. Yeah, you're warming up now. Oh, we were getting hot now, are we? Yeah. Cyberspace, man. Trouble is that. How are you doing? Happy birthday. Thank you very <laughs> much, Chris. Everybody. Yeah, thanks, mate. Oh, right, I'll take care, mate. <laughs> we should hang around till 11 o'clock, but Chris can hang up quick. I'll tell right. you what, I, we should clip that and record it and keep it as possibly Chris's shortest, bestest call ever. <laughs> At least he had a point. At least he had a point, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we missed it. And we okay, did. Okay, time for the plugs. Oh, audio click dot uk, Mick Y and WA dot com, play radio uk dot com, uh on the wireless dot net. It's not working. <laughs>
It is it's working fine. Is it now? Yeah, it just it was because we were both trying to sign in from the same place. It doesn't work. Yeah. I see. You can email us exciting stuff at our name at nttbs. Yeah. So Stu, Matt, Aaron, Joe at nttbs dot com. That'll get to us I during the week. Don't forget the uh, Skype no voicemail during the week. Play dot radio dot uk. If you want to leave a voicemail on there, or it's o two o eight one two three ten eighty eight. We'll get yep, through yep, to yep, the yep, voicemail yep. on there too. Indeed. Um. Am I, uh, just about covered everything. Have we got how many seconds we've got left? In? Um, I mean, so, well, uh, we should have gone now, but there's only like a minute, uh, just a minute. Uh, we're fine. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Are you saying we've overrun? No. No, that's all right. We're all right. All right. Um, so, we'll see everybody next week. Next week. Yeah. Yeah. Next week? Wait, wait, what's oh, next I'm week? Not here next no, week. you're not here next week. No, I'm in Plymouth. No, Joe's not here next week. Hello on the phone. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Oh, Sunday night just got better on Play 2 UK. Hello, you're listening to Stephen Grant here with Richard Hershey.